things that turn into success for Oklahoma State have to fall into place, and it all begins right here. And this guy takes it very seriously. It's, it shouldn't underestimate the fact that Schwetman has been and hopefully will be tonight kicking the ball through the end zone, not letting that return game from Colorado set the buffs up in good field position. Kick it out of the end zone, put him on the 20, let the defense get him three and out and give the Cowboy offense a chance to do something early. Marlon Barnes and Ben Kelly are deep. Today's opening kickoff sponsored by OG&E Power at the speed of light. Mr. Schwetman will do it. Again, Cowboys kick off from our right to our left. We're just about ready to get this one underway. Glad you're with us here in the Cowboy Network. Great night for football. Here we go. There's the kickoff. It is high. It is deep. And Kelly lets it go out of the end zone. Colorado first and 10 from the 20-yard line. And Tom... The Buffaloes are going to come out. They want to throw the ball. What do you see? Well, again, the Cow I've heard a lot of talk this week about the Cowboys are going to be left on an island like they've been all week long. And, indeed, the Cowboy defense will probably start out that way. But there's some built-in defensive help in the secondary this week. A little too deep action sometimes. They're going to play games with the receivers, bracket them, double cover them, start out looking like single coverage, and then all of a sudden there'll be double coverage. But the it all starts up front. Cowboys may give them a four- or five-man look like they are right now. All right, Hessler up under center. One running back is Barnes. Cheverini, one of the wideouts. Hessler to throw. Quick drop in and out of the hands of Phil Savoy across the 25-yard line. And on the coverage, Kevin Williams. So Hessler tries to hit right away. Incomplete second and 10. Cowboys with a four-man front. You'll see them because they balance you out. They'll give you a lot of two tight end looks, so that forces you to go to a four-man front. The Cowboys will move from side to side, but don't be surprised, Bill, if you see some of that five-man front tonight with a couple of linebackers, something we haven't shown all year. But again, they want to play games with Hessler, but they're still coming after him out of every front. Second down, 10, ball at the 20-yard line. Green and Stiggers are wideouts. Herschel Trapman, the lone back. Cowboys rush four now and drop back off the line of scrimmage. The pitch is to Troutman, comes up the middle, across the 20, and he's hit right there. Maybe got a yard. Courtney Mallory, Jamal Williams right there. No gain, third down and 10. That's the way to fill the gap, Courtney Mallory. He was off the ball a little bit, had to come from his right to left, and I mean he didn't overplay it. He stayed right there, moved laterally, and as soon as he saw it's Troutman hit it upfield, he stepped into the hole and dropped him. Third down and 10, ball at the 20-yard line. We see... Nalls coming off. Simpson into the lineup now for the Cowboys. Troutman, the lone back, two wides to the far side. Cheverini and Stiggers and Green wide to the near side. Third and 10 from the 20-yard line. Cowboys show blitz. Hessler drops back to throw. Has some time over the middle. Oh, a nice catch across the 30-yard line. Cheverini makes the catch across the 30, out to about the 32, 33-yard line. Mo Simpson brings him down. Boy, that's a gain of 12. Nice catch there. And that's what could really bothers you about this Colorado team. They've got guys like Cheverini and Stiggers who could really go get the bat, football. And he got up there high that time to bring it down. That wasn't like Hessler had all day to throw, though he had more time than he wanted to. That offensive line gave him just enough time to let Cheverini make the break from left to right. First first down of the ball game. Trapman is the lone back. Two wides. Toler and Green are wide to the far side. Cowboys with five at the line of scrimmage. First first down of the ball game for the Buffaloes. First and ten from their own 32-yard line. Hessler checks at the line of scrimmage and now hands the ball off to Troutman up the middle spins and gets out to the 35 yard line so he'll get about three there Jamal Williams Jack Golden on the stop nice job of spinning and turning Troutman last year missed the Oklahoma State game he was suspended for an off the field problem that day Tom if you'll remember that's right he and about three or four others as I recall uh, Cowboys are going to show a lot of movement on the front again just like they did last week they confused that big Texas line and they're trying to confuse the blocking assignments thus far. Never giving Colorado's offensive lineman a chance to put a hat on a hat. Second down, seven ball at the 35. Savoy and Cheverini wide to the far side. Stiggers to the near side. Troutman the lone back. Cowboys with five at the line. Hessler to throw. By Stiggers. And he gets across the 40 out to about the 43-yard line. That'll be a gain of eight. Kevin Williams brings him down. Boy, that was dangerous. Boy, that was about the perfect call for what they got that time as Neuheisel and 
and uh, Hessler read right there. They were able to get the Cowboy Blitz. They sold out on the left side, a little slip screen. They let the orange shirts come in. Stickers got behind that first wave. He didn't need much of a pass, and he ran with it the rest of the way. Second first down, first and 10 from the 43. Savoy and Toller are the wideouts. Troutman the lone back. Cowboys with a four-man front. A 4-3 look defensively. McQuarters is in a corner now. And the handoff to Troutman. Big hole, 50. He's in Cowboy territory across the 45, inside down to the 44-yard line. Ricky Thompson, Kevin Williams on the stop. A gain of 13, another first down. And we talked about Colorado coming in with their backs to the wall. They can ill afford, not only in the Northern Division, but overall to lose another ball game. So you know they practiced and prepared with a sense of urgency, just as the Cowboys did. And they have come out here, they, Colorado, looking like they're going to try to move this football all night long. Ball spotted at the 44-yard line. Three first downs for the Buffalo. Savoy and Chevrolet wide to the near side. Trap and remains alone back. Cowboys continue to rush four. First and ten from the Oklahoma State 44. Hessler straight back to throw. Lots of time. Now throws deep. Has a man open. It is caught at the ten-yard line by Phil Savoy. Kevin Williams brings him down at about the nine-yard line. Big gain of 33. First down. And Make again, it 35. Hessler with good time, and that's the key. The Cowboys they haven't been able to find the gap and get to him and get in his face on this drive. Only about twice have they even put a rush on him, and that was probably by design. They let them come through on the screen, but Hessler's had a, enough time to drop back, not have a happy feet, but able to set himself and find those good receivers. Now the short and field. Let's see if it works for the Cowboys' advantage. First and goal from the nine. Zach Warner into the lineup, and now Marlon Barnes is in as the tailback. Stiggers and Savoy wide to each side. One man back to throw as Hessler goes to the end zone into the corner and it's incomplete made the catch in the very corner was Javon Green but it's incomplete I guess he was too far out and on the coverage was Kevin Williams there it'll be second down a goal came down outside the back line it was one-on-one -on -one right there Green working on Williams he has a height advantage there so they're putting the ball up a jump ball let him go get it it was a nice touch by Hessler no question about it but it was just a little bit too tall Green is a cousin of Cedric Jones, who played at Oklahoma. Fisk and Barnes in there now as they work out of the eye. Fisk, the fullback. Cheverini wide to the near side. Second and goal from the night. Optioning is Hessler to the near side. Now makes the pitch out, and going in for the touchdown is Marlon Barnes. He took the pitch and went in for the touchdown for Barnes, his second score, and a very impressive opening here for the Buffaloes. That's an 80-yard drive, folks, right there. R.W. McWhorter's pleading his case as Bob Simmons is going to come down and do the same feeling like he was held out there rw was the only man coming up could have made the the tackle on the uh, option pitch right had a uh, got locked up with the lead uh, blocker out there felt like he was being held but the official was right there and no flag that was an impressive drive there 80 yards and now the extra point attempt it's six nothing colorado and it's jeremy aldrich who will attempt the extra point he is seven of seven on the year in the extra point department Kessler the holder, good snap, kick up, and the kick is good. So we've got a timeout. The Cowboys are down for the first time in a long time. Colorado leads at 7-0. This is Cowboy football from Learfield Sports. Is your bank open after the game? Bank of Oklahoma is always open. You can use BOK's 24-hour express bank. The rain is starting to fall heavy here in Stillwater. More light boulder weather right here. And it's just the temperature's up a little higher than they're used to at Colorado. Cowboy offense now under the gun to answer this opening drive. Impressive. Colorado's obviously come in here fired up. McQuarters is deep. He's flanked by Dante Hill and Kevin Williams. Here's the kickoff. It is high. It is short. And... Williams makes the catch at the 23-yard line, gets across the 25, out to about the 27, and that's where the Cowboys will take over first. And to a very short kick, but they, Cowboys down by a score of 7 to nothing. Lindsey, play action, rolls right, has some time, throws on the run. Mays can't make the catch. He is knocked away, and a pretty good defensive move by Marcus Washington. Cowboy fans thought that Alonzo was interfered with, came over the back, no call, second and 10. Marcus Washington was locked on to number 85 the entire way. A little play action fake that time. Everybody went with it. All the linemen moved to their left, and it really got that uh, defense moving to its right. Tony probably had some room to run. I'm sure the offensive coaches up here, if they call that again, will give Tony the opportunity to tuck it under because he had a little bit of room on the edge. Sean Love out. R.W. McQuarters in. He split wide to the far side. Grissom to the near side. Simmons alone back. Second and 10 from the 27-yard line. Four-man front for the Buffaloes. 
Tony Lindsay looks over the defense, hands the ball off. Simmons left side. Boy, he didn't get much. Gets out to the 29, a gain of two. It'll be third down and eight. Ryan Olsen and Nick Ziegler on the stop. Olsen and Mau Mau, two just terrific defensive tackles in there. Phillips at middle linebacker. You heard Bob Simmons talk about them in the pregame show. That's a tough bunch. They are, and the Cowboy offense in an unenviable situation uh, right now, trying to pick up third and long deep in their own territory. Colorado jumping out with that long drive, certainly wants the football back and trying to give the Cowboys a little taste of their own medicine. This has been the formula the Cowboys have had for four weeks. Kevin Brown is in now at fullback. Sean Love and Willie Grissom wide to the far side. Mays now goes in motion to the far side on third down and eight. Tony Lindsay rolls to his right, now throws back against the gray. Wide open his stake, 35. He's to the 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, knocked out of bounds. What a play for the Cowboys. Washington knocks him out. How about Garrett Stegs with a catch, his eighth of the year. Great call. Again, great call from upstairs. They took advantage of that aggressive uh, uh, defense by Colorado. They're leaning to the option side. It was a tight end bump and delay. All Stegsy did was stay in there. He had one blocker out in front of him, but all he did was hang in there, brush block his man, filter out to the left, and that was a tough, tough play for Lindsey to make because he was falling away from the receiver, and he had to sell out the option. 38-yard gain. McQuarters is in for Stegs. He's wide out to the near side. Kevin Brown is in at fullback. Lindsey on the draw play. Runs it to the near side. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. He's hauled down inside the 10-yard line by Ryan Ryan Sutter, boy, Lindsey looks great on the option. That's a design call. He took a step back. He watched those white shirts lean to their left as the influence was to the offense is right, and he wasted little time. Nice blocking up front. They gave Lindsey an alley. He took it, and I'll tell you, when he gets in the secondary now, the foot race is really tough on the defenders because Tony can pick him up and put him down. 25-yard gain, first and goal just outside the seven-yard line. Nathan Simmons back in. Grissom in love wide to the far side Dante Hill wide to the near side Simmons the low back first and goal from the seven Cowboys trail seven nothing first quarter Lindsay hands the ball off to Simmons left side gets inside the five fights his way down to about the two yard line a gain of five Mike Phillips the middle linebacker on the stop and it is second and goal from the two yard line and that was a classic example Bill of the offensive lineman not having to pancake anybody that time Henson just occupied his man as he pulled off to the left just occupied the white shirt in front of him brushed him a little to his left and Simmons was quick through the hole powerful through the hole and now the Cowboys have a chance to answer in a hurry Sean Barry, Garrett Stiggs, join Alonzo Mays, triple tight ends, Kevin Brown the fullback, Nathan Simmons is the tailback out of the eye, second down goal from the two-yard line, Stiggs in motion to the near side, Lindsey hands the ball in the delay to Simmons, goes up the middle and gets down to about the one-yard line, maybe inside the one, it'll be third down and goal from there. And this is where, again, uh, even though Kevin Brown is going to be a good one and he is a load, he's a short yardage kind of carrier kind of guy, Sometimes you need that ISO man, and, and Aikens was coming on in terms of being able to block and leading that man through. He didn't get it that time, but again, keep in mind, you got Kevin Brown, who's a load inside. It's tough to keep him out of there, short yardage. Third and goal from the one. Mays is split wide to the far side. Barry and Stiggs double tight ends. Cowboys out of the eye. Simmons the tailback. Brown the fullback. Optioning is Lindsey. Cuts up, and he is hammered. He is hammered. Maybe lost a yard on the play. And it's Brady McDonald on the stop there. So a loss of one. It'll be fourth and goal from the two-yard line. Tough decision right here. What are they going to do? They're going to send Sidness out. And Bob Simmons is saying, hey, I got Neek Moore than seven, obviously. I want to get the points if I can and make this drive pay off. But remember our conversation with Les in the beginning of the show. Again, the Cowboys were down there a lot last year in Boulder. Didn't get sevens. We'll see what happens. All right, Greg Brown is the holder, so Greg is back. Good to see him after the injury. He cannot really line up and scrimmage yet. Sidness will attempt the field goal. This will be a short one, about 19 yards. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So the Cowboys are on the scoreboard, and we'll take a break. 7.45 to go first quarter. Colorado leads at 7-3. You're listening to Cowboy Football. Attention golfers, if you're looking for North Central Oak...
make sure that they pit him deep and he, uh, see what kind of uh, adjustments that Rob Ryan makes uh, for this next series. And again, it's going to all have to do with getting after Hessler. But keep in mind, Hessler has got to have seen every defense that you could possibly see. That he's got some answers. The Cowboys just simply have to get off blocks and get to him. Sidness' his field goal, his fourth straight. Marlon Barnes and Ben Kelly are deep. Schwepman will kick it off. Cowboys down 7-3 first quarter. Schwepman's kick is high. It is deep. Kelly backs up, and it goes over his head out of the end zone, so Schweppman does his job again. Colorado first and 10 from its own 20. And the odds will be in your favor most of the night if you make Colorado go the long way. Once again, they have struggled to some people's uh, liking offensively. Uh, they didn't look like they were struggling that opening, uh, that opening drive, but a couple of things that were probably impressive enough and got the coach's attention up here in the booth was the fact that Hessler threw a lot of safe passers, uh, only had a couple of real quick step drops to make sure that the pressure wouldn't get to him. Let's see if Rob Ryan now comes after him a little more aggressively. Savoy, Chevarini, and Stiggers are wide outs. Troutman, the lone back. Cowboys show blitz. Hessler pitches the ball to Troutman. To the right side, gets across the 20, and is hammered as he gets to the 23-yard line. Kenyatta right on the stop. That'll be a gain of three. It'll be second down and seven. And I think they use that run just enough to say to you guys, don't you come teeing off on a quarterback, because we can handle to you. You know, it's not so long ago that Troutman, when they had a, a guy like uh, Salam there a couple of years ago, and they had a, a, a bigger attack as far as the uh, running game, was able to pick up yards on his own. This is a good back right here. That's what's so mystifying yeah. is that they can't run the football. At least they have it up till tonight. Weaver, Williams, Mallory, and Waddle are the men in front. Savoy and Chevarini wide to the far side. Troutman the lone back, second and seven from the 23-yard line. Hessler straight back to throw. Now he has some pressure, gets the pass off, caught at the 22-yard line. Troutman gets across the 25, maybe to the 26. Jamal Williams, a great job to haul him down. Gain of only about a yard on the play. And nice job again by that uh, pressure up front. This is something they didn't get to him on the first uh, drive. And right now, they're just getting off the blocks. The pressure came straight up the field, and Hessler really had to throw it a quicker before the screen could really develop. That's one way, one of the many ways, Bill, you can offset this pressure. Little slip screen, screens to the side, and three set drops, slants, but the Cowboys are gonna have to not alter their game plan, just come get them on third down. All right, it's a gain of two, third and five from the 25. Buffaloes are one of one on third down plays. Green and Chevarini wide to the near side, drop on the low back. Now Chevarini in motion to the far side. Hessler, quick drop throw, and Chevarini makes the catch, fell down at the 29 yard line. He's gonna be a yard short of the first Kevin Williams on the coverage that wet turf may have caused that he could have run a long way the wet turf as much as anything else was Chevarini had to reach back and take the football Hessler had to throw it quicker than he wanted to the ball kind of floated out there and Chevarini who was one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Williams in the flat was able to reach back grab it pull it in but in doing so lost all his momentum going forward and fell short of the stick so the Cowboy defense gets a chance here uh, to put the special teams on a bill. I might say right now, the Cowboys feel they can get a punt tonight coming straight up the middle. Aldrich is going to punt this one. He's not normally the punter, but I guess Aldrich is back there to punt. McQuarters is deep inside the 30-yard line. Good snap. They did get this one off. This is going to be hitting at the 40-yard line. Takes a Colorado bounce and will go out of bounds at the Cowboys' 28-yard line, and that's where Oklahoma State will take over first and 10 when we come back. But the Cowboys are down 7-3, 5.54 to go here in the first quarter. This is Cowboy football from Learfield Sports. Game Cruiser update. Let's return to Bill and Tom. Okay, it's first and 10 here from the Cowboy 28-yard line. Lindsey, the quarterback. And McQuarters is split wide to the far side. Grissom and Love to the near side. Kevin Brown, the lone back. McQuarters lined up a tailback and then went out to the far side. Tony Lindsey, play action to throw. Has a man open over the middle. Overthrows Sean Love at about the 45-yard line. Overthrew him, really didn't have much of a chance to get it. Ben Kelly on the coverage, second down 10. What the Cowboys are trying to do, and there's a flag down. One of the Cowboys might have left, or there might have not been enough people on the uh, line of scrimmage. But it's a motion penalty against the Cowboys probably decline that since it was incomplete the Cowboys are trying to do in this series at least with those wideouts is to stretch that defense and get them back on their heels where all of a sudden you take less men off the line of scrimmage and in that box and give somebody a chance like a Tony Lindsay on a draw or a uh, option to get out there and, and actually have less white shirts to deal with that's what that was for that's why RW was on offense although 
every time he's out there, you know that they're all over number 17 because they know he can take it the distance. Well, they take the penalty, so it'll be first and 15 from the 23-yard line. Fobbs is in there now behind Brown and dotting the eye. Lindsay on the delay to Jamal. Jamal breaks the tackle. 25, goes wide. 30, 35. And he finally dragged down. Marshall's the guy, Aaron Marshall, that had him by the jersey, or Fobbs would have gone all the way. Cowboys going to use counters just like that to take advantage of the free-flowing defense that Colorado has. They seemingly move on first motion, and I mean everybody leans, and the motion was to the left as the offense snapped the ball, but the counter was back to the right, and by that time, Fobbs was able to cut it into the hole. Once he broke the line of scrimmage, it was one-on-one, -on -one and he was hanging on for dear life. A gain of 20. It is first and 10 from the 43-yard line. Fobbs is out as a receiver now. Kevin Brown, the lone back. And Mays goes in motion to the far side. Tony Lindsay in first and 10 from the Cowboy 43. Gives the ball to Brown over the right side. Not much going there. Gets out to the 44, a gain of one. Mau Mau, Beely Mau Mau out of Honolulu, Hawaii on the stop. Approaching five minutes to go here first quarter. Cowboys trail 7-3. Hand off again to the strength of the Cowboy offense. If they had uh, Colorado also moving left, as you said, they are very, very free-flowing, and they move on fakes. And Wes Miles thought boots and fakes and play action might help today. Second and nine from the 44 on the delay is Fobbs up the middle. Gets to the 45, and that's it. A gain of another yard. It's third down and eight as the going's tough inside. Hannibal Navy's on this stop. Gain of two, make it third down and seven. And as we said, Bill, in the beginning, the battle's going to be across that offensive front. Cowboys had it all the way down inside the two and got it down there where you had the short field. And Colorado probably won that series right now. A big, big down coming up. Dante Hill comes into the lineup for Kevin Brown. Grissom wide to the far side. Hill and Fobbs to the near side. Or, I'm sorry, Fobbs to lone back. As Tony Lindsay goes on third and seven from the Cowboy 46. Options, pitches the ball. Fobbs wide. He's to the 50. And fights to that first down marker. Oh, we got a bad spot there. A horrible spot there. Shy of the first down. Mm -mm -mm. Gain of about six. I guess the official is saying that Fobbs was actually out of bounds and reached back in to try to get that ball to the stick. It looked for all the world like he'd have no trouble. Nice uh, nice job by the secondary front support for Colorado to come up and knock him down short of the stick. So it'll be fourth down at about a yard. The ball is at the 48-yard line of Colorado. Cowboys are down by a score of 7-3. to three. They're going to go for it. Cowboys are 7 of 8 this year in fourth down, so they've had good success. So rolling the dice early. Kevin Brown comes in. The three tight ends, Mays, Stegs, and Barrier in there. And it is Love wide to the near side. Now some confusion by the Cowboys. They're down to two seconds left in the play clock. Lindsey on the keeper. And he looks like he got the first down. Oh, man. Boy, I tell you, there was all kinds of confusion down to three seconds on the play clock. Tony just took the snap and took off. That could have been disastrous. The Cowboys were in their jumbo set. The tight end, you had Sean Berry in there. You had Stegs. You had the big tight ends trying to lead the way. For a second, it looked, didn't look like they knew which side to be on. But as soon as they got set, Tony Lindsay showing pretty good poise, knowing the clock management, was able to get the quick snap and just take it ahead. They didn't need it. was actually less than a yard. But how about that? Cowboys, eight of nine this year are fourth downs. Four first downs for the Cowboys, and it's first and ten from the Colorado 47-yard line. Buffaloes lead 7-3. Four minutes to go here first quarter. Simmons is back into the lineup now. Grissom wide to the near side and Love wide to the far side. Double tight ends in there as Tony Lindsay, the quarterback, sends Love in motion to the near side. First and 10. And he hands the ball off to Simmons. Left side, 45. And he's dragged down as he gets to the 44-yard line. That'll be a gain of three. Nick Ziegler and Ryan Sutter on the stop. It's second down and seven. Colorado's just begging Oklahoma State to throw the football. They've had five men across the front, three more backers. They had as many as eight guys in the box, and they had a couple of guys up there trying to jam receivers, saying, we'll hold your receivers up and make you run the football into our strength. The Cowboys are just trying to gut it out up front. That's where all the action is tonight. Jamal Fobbs back into the lineup. Two wides, Grissom and Love to the far side. Double tight ends in there, Lindsey. Uh, the handoff to Fobbs. Jamal goes down to the 41-yard line. Ziegler on the stop. That'll be a gain of about three there. It'll be third down and four. Kind of a misdirection play there for the Cowboys. All that is, all these counters that the Cowboys have. And again, they haven't shown too many boots this year with uh, Lindsey. You may see a little bit of that. 
uh, before the night's over. But all that counter stuff is to just freeze that defense. Those guys in the box freeze them a little bit as they lean one way or the other. Cowboys one of three on third. Space third and a long four. Love wide to the far side. And Grissom to the near side. Fobbs the low back on third down and four. Lindsey. Play action, bootleg, rolls right, he can run forever. He gets to the 40, gets to the 35, goes out of bounds at the 35. That's a first down, a gain of six. Like I said, I think you'll see the boot <laughs> before the night's over, but they lend themselves to that when they stack inside five, six, seven, eight guys in the box. You can't be everybody, everywhere. So the Cowboys put two wide outs to run the corners off, and once Tony was able to get outside, he's got that speed to get to the edge. That pursuit in the box was boxed up, and Tony had a lot of room to run. Tony, four carries, 32 yards now. Five first downs for the Cowboys. Dante Hill and Ethan Howell into the lineup. Now both Jamal Fobbs and those two men, Hill and Howell, are wide to the near side. First and 10 Cowboys from the Colorado 35. The give is to Fobbs. Goes inside, breaks a tackle, gets inside the 30, down to the 29-yard line. A gain of six. Ryan Sutter on the stop. Nice job blocking there and a better job running by Fobbs. Guys like Menifee up there off at Henson, they're just moving the white shirts back, and Simmons is just running where they move them out of the hole. They just keep moving them left and right. Nathan didn't hurry the play at all, just followed his blocking. Henson pulled this guy out, as did Hoffett. Menifee doing a good job of pancaking his man. Dante Hill wide to the near side, how wide to the far side. Stakes in motion to the near side with Simmons the lone back and second and four. Lindsey options to the far side. Now pitches at the last second, and the flag flies. I don't know if he pitched that forward or not. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 28-yard line, so you'll gain a yard or two. Four times when that flag comes in there, Bill, on a pitch, you're going to get a hole from the guy, the side judge. Hopefully that's not the case, but that's, it is. That's it. It'll be against the Cowboys, a holding call, so it'll be a penalty here. Let's see if we can go downstairs and catch this when he makes the call. Here's the call. Is holding by the offense. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Replay third down. Well, they weren't on third down. They must be replaying second down, I hope. Because the ball is back at the 40-yard line. They need to get to the 25 for a first, so it'll be second down at about 15. Down and 15. Perhaps the, 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 the pursuit pin was too good that time. And somebody got a hand out there and held one of those defenders on the edge. So it is second down and 15, ball at the 40-yard line. And now there's a timeout, and it's going to be called by the Cowboys. So we'll take a break here with 1.44 to go in the first quarter. Cowboys down 7-3. You're listening to Cowboy Football. Yard line. Cowboys, as Tom said, down by a score of 7-3 with a minute 44 to go here in the opening quarter. Lindsey's going all the way at quarterback, and now we see Grissom and Love wide to the near side. Nathan Simmons is in there, and so is Kevin Brown. This is a big play right here. Cowboys would like to get it all, maybe at least half of it, and have himself a nice, manageable third down play, not be third and long. Cowboys out of the eye. The two wides, Levin Grissom to the near side. Now Simmons in motion to the far side. Long count here for Lindsey. Hands the ball off to Brown over the right side and gets down to about the 37, so he'll gain about three on the play, and it'll be third down and 12. And again, not to belabor the point, but that's where Brian Akins was really coming on at that fullback spot. He's got quickness off the mark and quickness to the hole, the quickness uh, out in the open field that Kevin Brown does not have as yet. Now, Kevin is more powerful than close and is a good uh, one and two yard guy with that big bulk, but the, not having Brian in there really hurts the fullback game. Third down and 12 from the 37. Simmons and Brown in the backfield. They're split. And now Mays in motion to the far side against a four-man front for the Buffaloes. Tony, play action, going to throw, has some time, now scrambles to his right, throws on the run, and it's caught by Grissom inside the 20-yard line, down to the 19, a gain of 18, first down. And that's great poise by Tony Lindsay, the redshirt freshman, and a great job by Willie Grissom to run toward his quarterback as he was coming left to right. I can't tell you how far Willie had to go. He was split out here all the way on the press box side. He got to the middle of the field and saw that Tony was in trouble, and like a good receiver, he kept running and flowing in the direction of his quarterback. So as soon as he broke free, Tony put it on a rope. Willie Grissom with the catch. That's his seventh of the year. Six first downs for the Cowboys. First and ten Cowboys from the Buffalo 19-yard line. Dante Hill is into the lineup as a wide out on the near side with Love. And now it's a Simmons to lone back. 
Grissom wide to the far side. Now Mays in motion to the near side on first and ten. Lindsey hands the ball off and boy, it's going nowhere fast. Ziegler on the stop back at about the 22-yard line. He'll lose about three. And it'll be second down and 13. Cowboys haven't been able to get him blocked. And again, he's coming off the right edge. That's a big, deep handoff, a long handoff, one that you can see pretty well if you're in a linebacker spot. Cowboys couldn't get him pinned inside. It's one of those plays, when you look at the tape this week, if you get 57 pinned inside, now that's going to go a long way. He was the only one who could stop that play. Love wide to the far side, Grissom to the near side. Simmons, the lone running back on second down and 13 from the 22-yard line. Cowboys trail 7-3. Lindsey options to the far side, cuts up. Block, 20, 15, 10. Inside the 10, knocked down, but there is a flag down back at about the 25-yard line, so it's going to be a holding call against the Cowboys again, so that negates that. And that is something the Cowboys have not done, at least early in a ball game this year, is hurt themselves and make you have to go back and, and replay those downs and get those yards back. This is one that really hurts here. One of the reasons he might have been open on the spin was there was some holding up front. Bobby offense. <laughs> You know, we got some problems there, but you heard it, holding on the offense, so that will back the ball up to the 34-yard line. Cowboys need to get down to the 9 for a first, so it'll be second down and about, what is that, 23, 25. Again, Tony had some room as he hit the edge. Cowboys have had all the room they want when they take it to the edge because Colorado is not necessarily the quickest defense from side to side, but Oklahoma State wants to establish a running game inside as well. Second and 25 from the 34-yard line. On the delay of Simmons up the middle, Nathan spins to the 30. That'll be a gain of four, and it'll be third down and 19, or make that third down and 21. And it's one of those situations here, Bill. Your odds of getting third and 21 are not real good, but what you want to do is get enough yardage to give Tim Sidness a chance to kick a field goal. Well, we've reached the end of the first quarter. Colorado leads it 7-3. to three. We'll take a break and be back in a moment. This is Cowboy Football from Litterfield Sports. Field, take something off that yardage and give Tim Sidness at least a shot at a, a halfway decent field goal. Kevin Brown and Nathan Simmons are in the backfield. Cowboys face third and 21 from the Colorado 30-yard line. Cowboys are three of five on third down conversions. Grissom and Love are wide to the far side. Mays the tight end now comes split on the near side. Cowboys go from our left to our right. Now Simmons comes out as a wide out to the near side as well. First play, second quarter. Cowboys down by a score of 7-3. Back to throw is Lindsey. He's under pressure. Oh, he got away from a man. To the 30-yard line. Runs out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. There is a flag down back at the 40-yard line. Boy, Tony did a great job getting out of, I think it was Ziegler, wasn't it, that was after him? He's having an exceptional first half. Ziegler is, no question about it. That looks like a flag down there. I don't know if it is or not. Maybe is it not a flag? Apparently some tape or some sort. But again, Tony did the right thing. He had pressure up the middle. Really no place to go in the shortened field. And took the path of least resistance, got as much as he could, <laughs> kept it in the middle of the field, gives Sidness a chance. Somebody pick up that yellow trash at the 40-yard line. Sidness to attempt a field goal. This will be a 46-yard attempt. Greg Brown, the holder. From our left to our right, it's on the far hash. Cowboys down by a score of 7-3. Good snap. The kick is up. It's a line drive. It got far enough, and it went through. Tim Sidness is good on his fifth consecutive field goal, and the Cowboys have closed it now to a 7-6 to six ball game. And once again, the poise and the leadership of, of Lindsey right there didn't panic, didn't take a loss on that play, and was able to keep the ball going upfield. Now, again, uh, 46 is not necessarily a gimme, but Tony was able to not take a sack on that third down play and get it upfield, got as much as he could, and give Tim a chance in the middle of the field to drive it through. So Cowboys, two long drives, get six points, close the gap to 7-6. to six. The impressive thing, too, Tom, is I think uh, we talked about this last week. If there was any complaint at all about the Cowboys' play, it was in the field goal department. Tim Sidness has answered that. He appears to be back on track as he's hit two tonight. Yeah, if indeed Timmy had a, was in a slump to start the year, I think he's out of it now, fortunately. And, and in all fairness to Sidness, I mean, the ones he missed in the first three or four games, he was the long man, you remember, and he missed some of 48, 49 yards and didn't miss by much. It was just one of those situations where one more turn would have brought the ball inside the goalpost. Well, his 46-yard field goal here caps a 16-play, 43-yard drive. 
And the Cowboys will kick it off, trailing 7-6 to six here early in the second quarter. Schwepman will kick it off, and deep are uh, Barnes and Kelly. Again, they're the deep men. This will be a little more difficult for Schwepman to get into the end zone, I think, Bill, because of winds coming out of the southeast. It's more of a crosswind, and it's coming a little bit on an angle towards Schwepman. Well, he approaches the ball, and he kicks it off, and it's very high, very short. And it bounces at the 12-yard line. Is taken by Kelly at the 6 to the 20, 25, 30. He could go all the way near sideline. He's to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And he's finally knocked out. Oh, they're going to say touchdown. It looked like he was knocked out of bounds at about the 2-yard line. And now the another official is saying he's at the 2-yard yeah. line. The quarters came from the other side of the field and knock him out at the 2. I tell you, McQuarters had to come a long way. That's why he's on that special team. His speed kept him out of the end zone, at least for the time being. But that's something that the Cowboys special teams have not done. That has been the strength over the first five games. The kick was short, and he waited and waited till the very last second to take it on the bounce. And basically, Billy had absolutely no operating room to, to deal with. He came right down the near sideline after splitting the first two guys down, and it was off to the races. Yeah, that's the first time the Cowboys have had that happen this year. Clint Metcalf checking into the lineup for the Cowboys here. It is first and goal, Colorado from the two-yard line. Cowboys trail 7-6 to six here early in the second quarter. The Buffaloes are huddled on the far sideline. Will that be a big play by the quarters? It looked for all the world like it was going to be a touchdown. Only R.W. Speed was able to save it for the time being. Let's see how big a play that'll turn out to be. Trent Alexander comes in. Kevin Williams comes out. First and goal from the two. Kessler, the quarterback, a Cheverini wide to the far side, Savoy, or rather Green to the near side, the lone back is Barnes. First and goal. The give is to Barnes up the middle, and he's in for this easy score. Nobody got him. Easy touchdown there. He just did the old hurdle job there. Didn't decide to stay down. The Cowboy lineman, all the Cowboy defenders got down low, but all he did was just hurdle the entire line, both his line and the Cowboys, to get in. So Barnes scores from the two-yard line. And now the extra point attempt, and out to do that is Jeremy Aldrich. Cowboys trail now 13 to 6. As Aldrich will attempt the extra point. Big, big play. The Cowboys have been able to do that to other people, but tonight the Buffaloes pull off the long kickoff return by Kelly. That ends up in a two-yard touchdown, and Aldrich to attempt the extra point. Good snap, kick up. And the kick is good. So we've got a timeout. We'll take a break with 14.26 to go here in the first half. It's Colorado 14, Oklahoma State 6. You're listening to Cowboy Football. Experience heart-pounding theater sound in your own home. Come visit the showroom at Cartoons and see for yourself. Cowboys have McQuarters deep in the middle of the field. To the near side is Kevin Williams and Dante Hills to the other side. Kelly is the most dangerous man on that special team. Not only running stuff back, but also he's usually the first guy down on a punt to cover, and he's got blazing speed that the Cowboys have to account for. Jason Leslie will kick it off. Another kicker for the Buffaloes. 14-6, Colorado leads second quarter. There's a kickoff. It's a line drive kick and will be taken by Hill. He's to the 20-yard line, 25 and gets out to about the 30-yard line where he stopped, and that's where the Cowboys will take over. 18-yard return for Dante Hill. Unlike the first four, the last four opponents the Cowboys have faced, Colorado is just not going to give RW Quarters a chance to touch the football on any of the special teams, and that's good strategy. I, mean, I wouldn't kick it to him either. I'd take my chances yeah. with anybody else but him. Yeah, rocket scientist, you don't have to be to figure that one out. Cowboys are going to break the sideline, come onto the field with Chris Haluka in at quarterback. Sean Love is one of the wideouts. Nathan Simmons is running. Fobbs, we haven't seen much of when he was in there, played well. I don't know if he's injured or what. Mays wide to the near side. Kevin Brown is in at fullback and first and 10 from the 30. Haluka, play action, going to throw the ball. Mays makes the catch across the 45 yard line. Alonzo Mays with another catch. Uh, he's now. Uh, Caught the ball in 16 straight games, and that's a 15-yard game. Haluka faked the pitch, turned, fired, and connected with May. What a nice piece of work right there by both on the pitch and the catch in, but good arm straight by Haluka. He had a, as you said, he spun around, didn't have any time, and he saw Mays break between the two defenders, and he whipped one in there. First and 10 from the 45, seventh first down for the Cowboys. Brown the fullback, Simmons the tailback. 
And now Mays goes in motion to the far side. Now comes back the other way. Long snap. Haluka gets it. Pitches the ball to Simmons. Nathan comes to the near side. 45, 50, 45. Driven out of bounds near the 40-yard line by Ryan Sutter. That will be a gain of 15 and another first down. Cowboys caught Colorado moving around. All that movement. First Mays rocking to the left. Coming back to the right. Then Brown faking a move left and right. But it all ended up with the power to the right side. The strength of the formation. They got what they wanted. More orange shirts blocking. than white shirts were there to defend. And Simmons got through the hole in a hurry. First and 10. That's the 8 for the Cowboys from the 40-yard line. Both Fobbs and Simmons are in there now. And Simmons is lining up as the tailback. Grissom and Love are the wideouts to the near side. First and 10 from the 40-yard line. Haluka to throw. Has time. Throws the ball, and it's incomplete. Bob's the intended receiver just inside the 40. Had some room to run, but kind of threw behind him. That would have and been, it'll yeah. be second and 10. Tough pass to have to handle right there. A little bit more air under it probably would have been desired, certainly by <laughs> Bob's, because he had to turn around and try to take a bullet into his hands. And, he had, he had Fobbs one-on-one -on -one with who he wanted. A little linebacker out there covering him. and That's something you can want as far as a matchup, but that was a tough pass to handle even under the most ideal situation. Cowboys down 14-6. 13-39 left here in the first half. It's second and 10 from the 40-yard line. Love and Grissom wide to the far side. Simmons and Fobbs in the backfield. Now Fobbs comes out as the wide out on the near side. On second down and 10, handoff Simmons comes to the near side. Ankle tackle as he got to the 38. Nice job by Brandon Southward, so it'll be a gain of two. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Cowboy Football. This is OSU Football on 780 AM and 93.7 FM. KSBI, KSBI FM, Stillwater. I am just a cowboy. So it's third down and eight. Ball at the 38. Cowboys are three of six on third down. Simmons comes out and Kevin Brown is in there now. That was a good defensive play right there. Yeah. Simmons had a lot of room to run if he breaks through that ankle tackle. Bobs is a wide out to the near side. Love and Grissom to the far side. Brown the lone back on third down and eight. Halupka back to throw. Has some time. Throws the ball over the middle and it's deflected and incomplete. Flags fly everywhere. Sean Love, the intended receiver. You know, it's funny. I didn't see any flag fly until about a couple of seconds afterwards and three flags flew. Looked like Marcus Washington pass interference. All over Love and Sean had his man walled off. Actually came inside, got inside position, had the defender wall off. They're talking about where, what could they possibly be talking about as he came up and over the back of Sean Love. So they're talking. We're about to head downstairs, see if we can get the uh, official call. The ball will be at the 28-yard line. Nice, nice job again by Haluka, waiting for the pass pattern to develop. Good blocking up front. So Chris had a lot of room there, a lot of time to wait for that play to develop. And Sean got himself positioned. The foul. Pass interference by the defense. Spot foul. Automatic first down. There it is. Automatic first down. Ball at the 28-yard line. So here we are again, Bill, in a short field. Cowboys three times now tonight. This is the third time they've gotten down here where it's, they've shrunk the field on Colorado, which plays basically into Colorado's hands because they're tough, tough up front. First and 10 from the 28-yard line. Kevin Brown and Fobbs are in the backfield. Mays in motion to the near side. Haluka play action to throw. Throws the ball deep to the end zone. Sean Love, the intended receiver, overthrows him in the end zone. Incomplete second and ten. Sean had to turn around twice to try to find the football. He wanted to go inside. The throw was to his outside shoulder. It was up in the air. He got himself turned around. But it was one of those situations where it's hard sometimes when the shortened field takes place. You have less to cover as far as the secondary guys are concerned. And it's incumbent that your receiver get off the line of scrimmage. If you're back there dancing around, Haluka doesn't have a lot of time. You've got to get off the line of scrimmage into the pattern. Cowboys out of the eye. Kevin Brown, the fullback, Simmons, the tailback. Love and Grissom wide to the far side. On second and ten, Haluka on the delay to Simmons, up the middle. Gets to the 25, goes wide, and is tackled as he gets to the 20-yard line. That'll be a gain of eight. Nathan, a nice job running. Southward on the stop. And Simmons now nine carries, 37 yards. He almost just got behind the big orange crush there, got lost behind all of his offensive linemen. I think really Colorado's defense lost him for a second or two, and then he bounced it outside when nobody was. But the Cowboys had spread the field to give Simmons a little bit more room. And Tony Lindsay is quickly into the lineup on third and two from the 19. Cowboys four of seven on third down. Simmons to lone back. Love wide to the near side. Grissom to the far side. 
on third down and two. Lindsey dropped the ball, dives forward with it, and maybe got a half a yard on the play. That was almost disastrous. Yeah, he was. I think it just bounced back up into his hands, and it would appear again the Cowboys are going to be in a situation where Sidness has to come out and try to get some points on the board. Once again, you want to keep pounding away. I know the offense is a little bit upset that they won't go for fourth and whatever but again tim said this has got the hot foot right now you want to ride it and keep this game close and answer this will be a 36 yard attempt brown the holder sidness from the far hash on fourth and one for the 19 so they're going to try a field goal again this will be a 36 yard attempt good snap the kick is up it is long enough and it's good, so Sidness hits again, and we've got a timeout with 11.16 to go here in the first half. The Buffaloes lead the Cowboys 14-9. This is Cowboy Football from Learfield Sports. Accidents happen. And Barnes are deep. Schwetman will kick it off. Again, Barnes has scored two touchdowns tonight, and Kelly returned the last kickoff down to the two-yard line. Cowboys down 14-9, three Sidness field goals. Here's the kick. It is high. This one is going to be returned on the run catching at the seven yard line is Kelly to the 20 tripped up right there that's all he gets is up to the 20 maybe the 21 yard line Cowboys do a nice job look like Clint Metcalf was over there to make these special teams stop a lot of orange shirts in the area and I think the turf monster was wearing an orange shirt as well because uh, he grabbed the, that foot as he was trying to make a cut left you know Kelly going from east to west and that's uh, where he's headed here in the second quarter he's dangerous every time that ball goes up there he's got that speed and he doesn't need much room to break through now it's up to the defense to come up with a play here and turn this game back around cowboys have had the ball over 13 minutes to colorado's 542 first and 10 kessler goes to work from our right to our left two wides to the far side one to the near side barnes the lone back gets the call up the middle and he's tackled by uh, Kenyatta Wright and Jamal Williams as he gets out to the 25 yard line. So that'll be a gain of four. It'll be second down and six. And they're running the ball just enough and having just enough success, especially on first down, Bill, to keep the Cowboys back on their heels a little bit. Oklahoma State hadn't been able to make the penetration and get the negative yardage to put them in second and long, third and long. And that's basically why the Colorado offense has stayed out of trouble to this point. Mallory is out. Zach Aiken in for the Cowboys. Second down and six ball at the 25-yard line. Barnes the lone back. And the wideouts are toller or make that, uh, well, we'll check it here. Here come the Cowboys on the blitz. The give is to Thomas. Goes wide. Oh, a nice tackle made by Trent Alexander as he stops him at the 25-yard line. No gain, maybe a loss of a yard. Great play there. Boy, I tell you, he came from his secondary spot on the run. If he doesn't get him, now Barnes has got everybody circled. If he gets those feet and shoulders turned up field, now he might still be running, but that is a good, sure, hard tackle as he cut him in half. Give him a loss of a yard, third down and seven, ball at the 24-yard line. The Buffaloes are one of two on thirds. Savoy and Stiggers are wideouts. Cheverini's a wideout. Barnes the lone back. Cowboys bring four, show blitz. His golden looked like he was coming. Now they back off. Hessler to throw. Has some time. Now has to scramble. And he throws the ball as he's pulled down. It's incomplete. Great Cowboy pressure by Jamal Williams. Weaver was in there too, I think. And it's fourth down. And everybody, Bill, stayed home. Cowboys had him in third and long. That's where they want him all night long. The, the alignment just didn't come rushing up field out of control they stayed in their lanes and when they were able to make a break big jamal got rid of his man in a hurry and got his hand on his jersey pulled him back in the cowboy defense now let's see what they do and they kick it away from rw and give the cowboys even better field position aldrich will punt had 43 punt uh, 43 yard on his last punt mcquarter stands at the 30 aldrich is at the 10 cowboys trail 14 to 9 second quarter Cowboys jump off sides. Somebody jumped off sides. The Cowboys didn't got back. I think it, it, their activity on the Cowboys side of the line of scrimmage got the offense or got the uh, special teams, the white shirts, to move a little bit. And I believe they're going to move them back even further. <laughs> well, the mic is obviously not working at all times. This will be against the Buffalo, so the ball's back to the 19 yard line. Second penalty totaling uh, 15 yards so this will make it fourth down and 12 from the 19. Once again when you're on that defense you can move across and get back those guys in the white shirts once they get set they can't move. Yeah that's right. 
Aldrich from the five yard line gets the putt off. McQuarters at the 38 yard line comes wide, cuts up at the 40, and is going to be hauled down at the 42 yard line, maybe the 41. And on the coverage was John Sanders for the Buffaloes. And, the and we've Cowboys, got a flag down, too. Actually, two of them. And the Cowboys just gave one back right there. And, and uh, Bob Simmons is talking with Trey Thomas. The Cowboys will have an opportunity to get him to kick it over again because they were holding on the uh, actual snap. One of the Cowboys, I think it was uh, Clint Metcalf, who got in, was held, pulled down. So they had a chance to bring it back. But it was Trey Thomas again who gave him a chance to offset the penalties because he clipped the guy from behind. Oh, they're going to call well, a Double call Whoa. on the Buffalo, so the Cowboys get a break there. It looked like that Trey Thomas was going to get the call against him, but apparently not. That might be a break there, Bill. Cowboys will get a chance now to move the ball up here a little further. I thought it was going to be offsetting one on each, and here comes the rain. Woo! Well, they're playing raindrops keep falling, and I mean it is pouring out in sheets. Cowboy fans don't seem too worried about it. We're going to try and pick up the referee's signal here in a moment. He, they're still discussing it at midfield. Well, Bob Simmons thought for all the world like it was going to be on his own player there yeah. as he pushed them down at the very end. That seemed to be where the flag came from. But keep in mind, the initial flag was thrown in right by the punter as there was a hole on the Cowboys coming in on the on the uh, block punt attempt. Let's see. He's talking it over with Josh Henson, the Cowboy offensive captain. So it's obviously going to be a good call from the Cowboy point of view. You ever heard B.J. Thomas singing on a jumbotron? <laughs> That's the first time I believe I've ever heard that. It is really boring now. Yeah, oh, it man. is really Look at the Cowboy fans. They're just dancing to the music. They like it. Well, if you're well, a football fan, this is, you just forget about that. Well, they're still talking it over. Well, again, it's going to be a situation where we'll see, and I think Bob well, Simmons wants an explanation over yeah. there as well. Josh Henson's asking him to go through it one more time. Trying to figure out what it is. It's going to be an interesting walk-off, whatever it is. And again, it, the initial uh, signals were that both the calls were against Colorado. Let's go downstairs, see if he's going to... Two fouls on the play. We had holding by the offense. We had post games kick on the receiving team. We kick. <laughs> well, that's what we thought, really. That's yeah. probably what it was going to be, so... Uh, that was not a smart play there by the Cowboys, giving that back because they were going to be in a position where they would have him kick it again, and he would be kicking out of his own end zone, but they gave him a chance to get it back. So now Oklahoma State will go back, and let's try it all over again. And I mean, it is pouring down rain right now. Aldrich will stand at his five-yard line, and McQuarters stands inside his 35. Cowboys trail 14 to 9 with nine and a half to go here in the first half. One of the reasons Aldridge is punting tonight is that Colorado's had all kinds of problems in the special teams and punting game, and that's why he's back there punting tonight for the first time all year. That's right. So fourth down, and Aldridge from the five-yard line punt. Good snap. Gets the punt off. It's a bad punt. And sails out of bounds. Cowboys, great field position. It'll be at the 38-yard line of Colorado. Well, after all that talk and, and all that deciding and all the laundry, the Cowboys come out on the long end of that exchange. So the, it's a 19-yard punt, and they still got problems punting the ball. Cowboys come out first and 10, ball at the 38. And again, the offense is thinking, hey, let's take this ball into the end zone now. We've had three chances to put seven on the board, settle for threes. Penalties have hurt. Colorado's defense has stood tall when it had to. The Cowboy offense now, hopefully you cannot get too frustrated. Just try to take it one play at a time. Howell and Hill are wide outs. Fobbs the lone back. Tony Lindsay is in at quarterback. Four-man front for the Buffaloes. And looked like Lindsay on the quick count took the ball, got down to the, about the 34-yard line. Ryan Olsen on the stop, so he'll get... Three or four there, make a three-yard gain. That was a planned call right there. Sometimes Colorado will line up and leave that gap right over the center. 
trying to make a blocking problem for the offensive line, and Tony didn't waste any time, saw it. Cowboys practiced that all week, so he took the quick count, right, went right into the open area. Second down, seven, ball at the 35-yard line. Cowboys trail 14-9. Lindsey, the quarterback, hands the ball off to Fobbs over the left side, and he gets down to about the 33-yard line, a gain of two. Brandon Southward, the linebacker out of Colorado Springs, on the stop. And I think our pregame... Uh, scenario and our pregame uh, setup is just about right on the nose this Colorado defense is the one that's getting the job done in Boulder right now they're playing hard they're making it difficult the Cowboys have had a number of opportunities to put points on the board and be ahead in this game Cowboys four of eight on third down space third down and five here from the 33 Fobbs the lone back and Howell and Love are the wideouts to the near side. Now Fobbs in motion is his wideout on the far side. Lindsay option to the near side. Cut the field. 30. 25. Breaks a tackle. Gets down to near the 20-yard line. That'll be a gain of about 12. And it's Nick Ziegler on the stop. First down, Cowboys. Cowboys actually went empty in the backfield as it's Fobbs went out there as a, a flanker to the left side. So all that left was Lindsay to just read what was happening. A little spin move, a little option right, got to the edge, and he got there in a hurry. They had everybody pinned, and everybody accounted for as they spread the field, and they've spread the field to give Lindsay just one less white shirt to have to deal with. Tony, seven carries, 49 yards, 10th first down. Brown is in there now with Fobbs in the running back. Hill and Howell are the wideouts. First and 10 from the Colorado 21. Lindsey options to the far side. Pitches the ball to Fobbs. Cuts up 20 and gets inside the 20 down to about the 18-yard line. DeMar Wheeler on the stop. That'll be a gain of about three. It'll be second down and seven. Cowboys playing with danger here tonight. Not just ignoring the elements, ignoring the wet ball. And that's always something you hold your breath. You get into an option pitch situation with that wet pigskin. You hold your breath that it doesn't hit the turf. But the Cowboys ignoring this rain, which has been pretty steady now for the last uh, five or ten minutes. Yeah, and it's pouring. Willie Grissom and Sean Love are in. Howell and Hill are out. Fobbs tonight, seven carries, 42 yards. Second down, seven. Ball is at the 18-yard line as the Cowboys break the huddle out of the high. Hurry. Kevin Brown, Fobbs the tailback, hands the ball off to Fobbs up the middle, and he gets nowhere fast. No gain there. Hannibal Naviz on the stop out of Oakland. It'll be third down and seven. And once again, we see a situation where Short field enables those white shirts to get up there and play. Now, Tony's pointing say, to, this, to the uh, coaching staff how to get that play off in a hurry because the clock was getting down to two, one second. So that was not a very clean exchange. Now they got the play. This is the key play on this drive here. Cowboys are five of nine on third downs. Here face third down and seven from the 18-yard line. Fobbs and Brown out of the eye. Grissom and Love are the wideouts. Grissom to the near side. On the delay, it's Fobbs up the middle. Breaks a couple of tackles and then is hauled down as he gets out to about the 17. It'll be a gain of one. And the V's on the stop again. So fourth down and six. And again, the Cowboys can't make much inside that 20-yard line. And Sidness comes out again. And once again, Bill, it's a matter in the short field of you being able to beat your man up front. Right now, you'd have to say the Colorado people in the box, the box people, the front seven, are probably winning the battle with the orange blockers right now. Sidness will attempt a 34-yard field goal. Farhash, Brown the holder again. Again, Tim has hit three of three today. This will be a 34-yard attempt. Good snap. The kick is up. It's long enough, and it's good. Sidness hit another one. We've got a timeout with 6.21 to go here in the first half. Colorado leads the Cowboys 14 to 12. You're listening to Cowboy Football. She's the one. And you. Deep. Cowboys pull within two. It's 14 to 12. 6.21, still a long way to go in the opening half. On a very wet, rainy night in Stillwater. Huge crowd, great crowd. And Schwetman will kick it off. He does kick it off. It is high. This one's pretty deep. Kelly's going to take it at the 2. Comes out to the 10. Goes wide. 15. Breaks a tackle. Still up and finally hauled down at near the 25-yard line. He kind of got tripped up there. That was a pretty good return. 22 yards. I said you hold your breath when he has it. He has no fear. And he was just uh, keeping his balance away from maybe still being run. And he found the gap and almost got through it. So the defense, who turned the ball back over to the Cowboys the last time out, have got that charge here again with 6-11 to go. Ball is spotted at the 24-yard line, and that's where the Buffaloes go to work. 
Cowboys trail 14 to 12 here in the second quarter. Kessler, the quarterback, has Barnes alone back. Savoy is wide out. Cheverini's a wide out. Cowboys show blitz now. They bring everybody up to the line of scrimmage. Kessler hands the ball off, and this time Barnes gets nothing. Gets to the 23. Mallory on the stop. May have lost a yard. Courtney Mallory in there. You know, coaches just use this term all the time, and it's getting off your blocks. The Cowboys weren't able to get that done on that first long series by Colorado. Colorado came out really jacked up. But since that time, the Cowboy front people have been able to move around, get off the blocks when a big uh, uh, goal helmet's been there, and they've been able to control the line of scrimmage. Cowboys' Jamal Williams trying to get the crowd going. Herschel Troutman checks in, second and 11 from the 23. Savoy and Stiggers are wideouts. Cowboys bring nine men to the line of scrimmage. Hester drops the ball, falls on it. Falls on it at the 21-yard line. And that'll be a loss of two more. It'll be third and 13. I tell you, Hessler looked like he was pulling out just a little too quick, maybe trying to get out there and read. Cowboys playing games with him on the offense, on defensive front. Damn. Actually, the play, Delay of game, yeah, I guess. I guess so. I don't know if the clock ran out or not, but uh, it looked like he was certainly not in sync. Game clock, 523, 523. So they're going to add some time onto the clock, about seven seconds, apparently. So the ball is back at the 18-yard line where it's second down and 15. And this Cowboy defense has been so good at turning the ball over to the offense, looking for that takeaway here. Herschel Trapp in the low back. Savoy and Cheverini are wideouts. One on each side. Second down and 15. Cowboys send everybody up to the line. Now they back off. Show blitz. Hessler back to throw. Here they come. Throws over the middle and is incomplete. And intended for Savoy. McQuarters on the coverage, but a flag is down. It'll be pass interference. And you got to give this Colorado offense credit. I mean, they know exactly. They knew what they were getting into here tonight. They knew the kind of pressure they were going to get into, and, and they know the kind of plays that can relieve that pressure. They've got the people who can execute them in Hessler and Savoy. So you heard automatic first down from the spot of the foul, which is the 25-yard line, so... That's a break for the Buffaloes there. First and 10 from their own 25. Yeah, unlike the first five opponents, these guys are more equipped to handle that because they've got a good pitch and catch game. Three wideouts to the near side. One back is Troutman. Kessler, the quarterback. Straight back to throw. Has time. Now the Cowboys come again. He throws the ball. It's intercepted. 35, 30-yard line. Kevin Williams to the 20, to the 15. Breaks a tackle. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. Dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. And there's the takeaway that we were looking for. They brought the pressure straight up the middle on Hessler. He had a throw over an extended arm. He threw it up too tall. Cowboys had coverage deep, a couple of two deeps. Williams was back there. That's his fifth interception of the year in six games. And it was just a long, long run back for there. 38-yard interception return. You said it, Kevin's fifth interception. Jamal Williams was really yep. putting the pressure on. Here's Sidness to attempt the extra point. Boy, that was perfect. Textbook right there. As he got enough pressure on Hessler, Jamal Williams did, to give Kevin Williams a chance to pick it off and show his broken field ability in running. Tim Sidness will attempt the extra point. Again, Greg Brown, the holder. Good snap. Kick up. Kick is good. The Cowboys have the lead for the first time tonight. 4.56 left first half. Cowboys lead it by a score of 19-14, and we'll keep it right here. But what a terrific Kevin Williams gets better every week. Kevin's kind of like a magnet. He's always in the right place at the right time. Cowboys had deep coverage that time, though. It was a long situation, second and long. So they knew that they had to throw the ball downfield. They wanted Hessler to do that. They almost baited Hessler into doing that. Although the play was started up front by the pressure brought on Hessler, he had Jamal Williams in his face as he came straight up the gut. The ball was high over the receiver, and Kevin playing back almost in center field, broke on it nicely, and then took the long way in, took the long way home as he came right. They cut it back across the middle and finally got into the end zone on the left corner of the end zone. But the ball was high. That was the whole key, the pressure to force the high throw, and then Kevin did the rest. For Hessler, his ninth interception of the year compared with two touchdown passes.
Cowboy crowd is on its feet. Oklahoma State leads it 19-14 with less than five minutes to go here in the first half. Schwetman will kick it off. Kelly and Barnes are the deep men. And there's what we talked about, keeping the game close, Bill, until you can come up with one yep. of those mistakes. Those four field goals by Sidness. Major league big in terms of keeping the scoreboard close and giving this defense an opportunity to get something done. Kevin Williams, fifth interception. As he uh, uh, improved a hundredfold you, in one year. He's talked several times about how happy he is to be back on the team, and boy, he plays every night like he means it. Schwepman will kick it off again. Cowboys with their first lead of the night, 1914. Here's the kickoff. High kick, a deep kick. Kelly's going to take it at the two-yard line. He's to the 10. Uh-oh, 15, 20, cuts up 25, and finally hauled down across the 25 out to about the 28-yard line. Wow. Nice return there of about 26 yards. On the stop for the Cowboys was Thomas Davis on the stop for Oklahoma State. Some other scores again in the Big 12. Texas Tech has taken a 7-0 lead at the end of one over Kansas. That other game going on in the Big 12. Nebraska, 35-7 over Baylor. 619 to go before halftime. So Nebraska rolling there. We'll give you some top 25 scores when we get a chance. First and 10 ball spotted at the 29-yard line, and that's where the Buffaloes go to work. Cheverini and Savoy are wideouts. Barnes the lone back behind Hessler. Cowboys have a four-man front. And now back to throw is Hessler. Has some time. He wants to run. Now dumps it off. It's caught at the 30-yard line. 35-40. And it's McCarty, Tennyson McCarty, who gets out to the 44-yard line. Trent Alexander finally stops him, a gain of 15 there. And that's the first time McCarty's had the ball thrown his way. McCarty was really the safety valve right there, just kind of drifted out after he did his blocking. It had it was stayed home enough when Hessler was on the run. Now, Hessler's not a scrambler. He can run better maybe than most people think he can, but McCarty was there just to take a little five-yard pass and turn it into a big game. Savoy and Stiggers are the wideouts. Barnes gets a call over the left side, gets across the 45, out to about the 47-yard line. A flag flies late. Trent Alexander on the stop. A gain of three, but again, a flag flies. going to be a late hit on uh, Kenyatta Wright. A late hit. That'll move the ball up even further. Yep, that's the call. It'll be a personal foul against the Cowboys. So with 420 left in the half. Oklahoma State gives the Buffaloes some extra yards they didn't need to give them. No, after the Cowboys arrested the, foul. the momentum. Dead ball. Personal foul. Theory on the defense. Automatic first down. Boy, that's a killer time. Now the ball's at the 39-yard line. That's not what you want to see there. And again, penalties have hurt offensively, but they hurt defensively there as well. That's not something you want to give. This team is good enough to pick up yards on its own when you give them 15 yards, and they've got so many guys coming and going, I'm not sure they know what the set is here. Five penalties, 42 yards for the Cowboys. Barnes the lone back, two wides to the far side. Barnes gets the call up the middle, and he doesn't get much. So he gets to the 43-yard line. There could have been a little holding on the on there. stop there. He's a holding on Alton Weaver inside. Is there a flag down? Yes. Okay, I didn't even see it. That was Barnes on the carry. It is against Colorado down to the, got down to about the 36-yard line, which would have been a gain of three, but the penalty will go against the bad guys this time. Weaver was doing a good job of controlling his man. Apparently, uh, he reached up, pulled him down right in front of the official. The flag fell. The foul was holding by the offense. Ten yards from previous spot. First down. So they back the ball up now to the 47-yard line of the Cowboys. They've got to get to the 29 for a first, so it'll be first down at about 18 from the 47-yard line. The rain has stopped for the time being, and the fans, as you can hear, are still into this one. Wayne Cherrington is in as a tailback now with two wides to the far side, one to the near side. Hessler to throw, throws on the run. Wide open is Cheverini on the far sideline, and McQuarters brings him down inside the 30-yard line, down near the 25. Boy, that's a great play, a gain of about 22 yards there. He ran a little pick play there, and it was Simpson who got uh, confused as to where to go. He did not stay with Cheverini. Cheverini was the guy going outside. The inside receiver brought Simpson and McQuarters with him, and he found himself all by himself, and Cowboys are fortunate that he didn't run off and leave him there. Gain of 21 on the play. Ball spotted at the Cowboy 26-yard line, where it's first down and 10 Buffaloes. Cowboys up 19-14 late here in the half. 
Hessler goes to work. Kelly is the lone running back, or make that cheering to the back. Back to throw is Hessler. Has time, throws the ball deep, and it's incomplete. Intended for Chevarini, who made a diving attempt. Kevin Williams on the coverage. It's incomplete, second down and 10. Two-man pattern right there, one short, one long, and it was one-on-one -on -one coverage again. Chevarini just a bit too tall for him. Williams right behind him in the coverage, and just looking down, there was a little pushing and shoving along the line of scrimmage after the play. One of those Colorado linemen had his helmet ripped off, and the official stepped in front of that keep uh, anything from happening. Ricky Thompson comes out and checking into the lineup for the Cowboys is Mo Simpson. Cowboys have been in a lot of nickel packages here, especially when the field gets short and they're trying to pick one off. They're going to have to get to Hessler. Second and 10 from the 26. Savoy and Stiggers the wideouts. Sherrington the lone back behind Hessler. Cowboys a four-man front. Back to throw Hessler. Has time over the middle. Caught inside the 15-yard line. It's fumbled! It's fumbled! The Cowboys have recovered inside the 10-yard line. Oh, baby. Hefner dropped the ball after the catch. Who's getting it for the Cowboys? It's the, Jack Golden, I think. Jack, I think. Did he strip him of the ball? Because he was right there. It was a great hop to Jack. He was just kind of in the area, so he was there to pick it up. But he was wide open, that receiver, as he came right up over the middle. And again, the turnover bug jumps up and hurts Colorado. That was wide open for Colorado, but they turned it loose for him. Hefner is the guy that made the catch. He's about the 15, got down to the 10, fumbled the ball, and we'll give it to Jack Gold until we hear otherwise at the 9-yard line. So the Cowboys first and 10 from their own 9, leading 19-14 with 3.15 to go here in the first half. Palooka's back in at quarterback. What a big turn of events that was. Simmons and Brown out of the eye. Yeah, isn't that the truth? Halupka hands the ball off to Simmons. Left side gets up to the 10-yard line and maybe to the 11. A gain of a couple. Bunch of Buffaloes there to greet him. Boy, going's tough down there. Now with the Cowboys having taken the lead for the first time, just don't do anything crazy here. Yeah, you don't want to give it up down here. Try to get to the uh, try to get to the dressing room with the lead and get yourself regrouped. It has been a dogfight from start to finish. Love wide to the near side. Grissom to the far side. Brown and Nathan Simmons in the backfield. Now Mays in motion to the near side. Halupka hands the ball off. Simmons right side. Gets across the 10 outside of the 15-yard line. So he'll gain four there. Ryan Sutter on the stop. It'll be third down, though, in about five. Boy, he had a hole there, but it closed up in a hurry. Yeah, it's a lead sprint right there. Handed off underneath the pursuit. And I tell you, Simmons didn't waste any time. There's a timeout for Colorado. So let's just keep it here. We haven't been able to give you much of a run through the scoreboard but we do have now in the top 25 air force wins again 10 to 7 over navy these are all finals north carolina 30 to 12 over wake forest virginia tech 17 to 7 over boston college it was michigan state 38 to 6 over indiana we gave you the kansas state score 41 to 11 over missouri Michigan had a hard time this afternoon, but finally came back to beat Northwestern 23 to 6. Texas A&M all over Iowa State 56 to 17. Auburn 49-13 over Louisiana Tech. It was Washington 30, California 3. 27 to 17, Georgia Tech beat North Carolina State. Again, all finals. Penn State 31-27 over Ohio State. That was number two and number seven there. That was a heck of a battle. Tennessee, 38-13 over Georgia. That is a final. At the half, Oregon, 24-20 over UCLA. These are all partials now. Baylor trailing in big time, 35-7 to Nebraska. That's uh, just about at halftime uh, in Lincoln. Actually, down at Waco, I'm sorry. Florida State, 21-7 over Duke. That's 6.25 to go in the second. LSU, 14-7 over Florida. That's almost at halftime. We jump around. Notre Dame wins 45 to 21 this afternoon. That over Pittsburgh. So that catches you up to date here. Here it's third down and a short five. Cowboys with 210 yards of offense to 150 for Colorado. Simmons and Brown in the backfield. As Halupka faces third down at about four and a half. Back to throw. Halupka comes to the near sideline. Mays makes the catch across the 20. And he'll be hauled down at the 21-yard line. That's a gain of six. First down, Cowboys. A lot of pushing and shoving going on. Nice toss there by Halupka. Nice safe toss. And a good job by Alonzo of getting by the stick. He knew how much he needed. He needed got by. He actually went to about two or three yards by the stick, came back, and made it a one-yard and change. But that's the key. When you're trying to pick up a big-time first down, you better know where that stick is and not come up short on the comeback route. 
You know, one thing about Haluka, you got to give Chris a lot of credit for. He stands back there, and, of course, the line's done a really nice job, but all season he's done a good job of hanging in there and waiting until somebody gets open in the pocket. Kevin Brown, the lone back now. Simmons is out as a wide out to the far side. First and 10 Cowboys from the 21. Haluka's going to throw to us, so again, Grissom makes the catch. Cross the 25, and pushed out of bounds at the 29-yard line by Marcus Washington. That'll be a gain of eight. And a nice read again by uh, Haluka. Saw he had Grissom wide open on the right side, actually one-on-one. -on -one. Griss ran his man down, turned back, and came back with the football, a safe play. A good arm straight by Haluka to get the ball there and get out of bounds and stop the clock. Cowboys lead 19-14, less than two minutes to go here in the first half. Grissom and Love wide to the far side. And now Nathan Simmons comes out as a wide out on the near side. Kevin Brown, the lone back on second and two from the 29. Play action, Haluka's going to be hammered. Nick Ziegler all over him. And I'm telling you, Haluka had no chance at all. Well, that didn't fool anybody as the... He looked uh, to go back to his left. That, uh, Tony, that's, he's not Tony Lindsay in terms of speed right there. He took a pretty good lick, lost his shoe in the process. He's kind of limping around out there, too, right now. A bit of loss of three on the play, so it's third down and five. There's another timeout. We'll keep it here with 149 left here in the half, and the Cowboys up 19-14. Look at that. Uh, trying to find that Tulsa score here on the sheet. I didn't hear it in the final. It was Texas El Paso, 33, Tulsa, 18 in the whack. So Tulsa Boy, that was a... stays winless on the year. SMU 20 to 19 over Utah. TCU loses a close one to UNLV 21 19. That's a final. Fresno State's out of Hawaii. They got a nice tour here tonight. We jump around the country, bring you some day, uh, scores that we haven't yet. We got the sheet here. Uh, what do you want to hear from? We don't have that uh, St. Cloud score, so don't ask. Oh, no. Hey, what you read the Ohio State, but I, I didn't catch it. Yeah, okay, was it? let's go back to Ohio State again. It was Penn State 31, Ohio State 27. Oh, good game. So it was a good game. You knew it would be. You know, they slugged it out right there. And uh, we'll try to bring you some more scores as we get them. That's it. Up to date. We'll get them through the uh, halftime. Homecoming crowd enjoying this. Kingsman as well, trying yep. to serenade the crowd. Boy, I, the rain's falling again, Tom. Yeah, it is, and it's kind of that irritating miss, but it's one of these situations, uh, runners know this, once you get wet, you're wet, so that, it doesn't make any difference. I mean, if you're just soaked, you're soaked, but this is one of those nights where the wet doesn't go away. It keeps coming down, but it hasn't seemed to bother the spirits here tonight. Third and five from the 26. Again, Chris Haluka limped off, so Tony Lindsay's back in. Simmons and Brown are split backs behind Lindsay. Now Stegs in motion to the near side on third down. Tony, play action, flags fly, Cowboys may have jumped. Lindsay rolls to his right, runs with the ball, gets to the 30, knocked out of bounds at the 32. He's got enough for the first time, but again, there's a flag down back in the Cowboy backfield. That would have been a gain of six. It would have been a first down, but I think this will be against the Cowboys. Yeah, possibly some motion before yeah. that snap, and that flag went down in a hurry. Yeah, I think it was motion. Cowboys have been plagued by penalties here in this first half. It's against the Cowboys. And we'll go down for the official call here in a moment. What are they talking about? Too many men on the field here as well? Take out. Illegal participation on the offense. 15 yard penalty. Oh, brother. Illegal substitution. Cowboys probably ran that last man off just too late. So they'll move it back. And Boy, that one, that, that one kills you. 142 left in the half, and the Cowboys making it difficult on themselves to run out the 142 and get to the dressing room with the lead. Sixth penalty for the Cowboys, totaling 57 yards. The ball goes all the way back now to the 13-yard line. Cowboys need to get to the 31. What is that, 18? Third and 18. That's not a good situation to be in. What you do is try something safe here as the clock is run at 142. It won't start till the snap, and... Turn it over to Jason Davis. Cowboys lead 19-14. Simmons the lone back, and now he comes as a wide out on the near side. Lindsey options. He's going to run the ball. 50 dives forward across the 20 out to about the 22-yard line. He gains about nine. Ryan Olson on the stop. So it'll be fourth down and nine with a minute 34 left here in the first half. The Bubs call another timeout to stop the clock. So Mr. Davis will see his first action of the night. He has not punted yet tonight. It's a good time to remind you that Bank of Oklahoma is proud to be the number one Oklahoma-owned commercial lender. Bank of Oklahoma has the resources to help any size company succeed. Get the home advantage only from the Bank of Oklahoma. Cowboys up 19-14. They've had four field goals from Sidness. 
Tim's been good from 19, from 46, 36, and 34. And, of course, Kevin Williams with that 38-yard interception return for a touchdown and has given the Cowboys their first lead. Barnes has scored twice from 9 and 2 yards out for the Buffaloes. A 2-yard run came after a kickoff return by Ben Kelly down to the Cowboy 2-yard line. So Oklahoma State with a lead, 19-14, and a minute and a half left here in the first half. The Cowboys' defense has forced two turnovers. Picked up on the takeaways. That's 17 takeaways this year over the first five-plus games to stop a couple of drives from Colorado. That last one, a tense one, because after they scored on Kevin Williams' return of the uh, interception, all of a sudden Colorado found itself in scoring territory yeah. as well, but that was a big turnover there, picked up on about the nine-yard line. So now Jason Davis gets the call for the first time tonight. Herschel Trotman is the deep man, stands at the 35-yard line. Davis inside his 10, and Jason's been a, obviously terrific all year long, punting the ball, averaging 46-plus. See if he can get off a good one here. Good snap. He gets off the punt, and it is a punt here. Troutman makes the catch. The 36-yard line gets to the 40-45. Hauled down across the 45-yard line. And the Cowboys special teams player is Clint Metcalf, a 42-yard punt. I think some of the Cowboys yeah. thought he may have called a fair catch. And he almost acted his body language like he had. Uh, and he was kind of tiptoeing around, maybe expecting for that whistle to blow. But when he didn't hear it, he did the right thing and took it on up the field. You know, that's the vogue, that's the fashion now when returning punts is just to kind of give that sign, only give it a slight sign, maybe to confuse some of the guys coming down to tackle you, and maybe you get away with it. A 42-yard punt, 11-yard return. Hessler comes out with Stiggers and Savoy, the wideouts, along with Tr uh, Herschel Troutman, the lone back. First down, Hessler back to throw over the middle, wide open. It's caught by Hefner. This time he does hold on to the ball down to the 35-yard line. Trent Alexander on the stop, a gain of 17 and a first down. And I think that wind is kind of changing directions here. It's swirling up here. Still the, the flags indicated still coming out of the southeast. And I'll tell you, Hessler's just using that tight end now the last couple of times to get away from that charge up field. That's where the open spot is. Golden is out. Simpson is in. Hessler first and 10 from the Cowboy 35. Back to throw. No pressure. Throws deep to the far sideline. It's incomplete. The quarters covering Savoy over there. And RW jumped up at just the right time. And it's second and 10. You always hold your breath on something like that because Savoy is, was actually behind RW. And on occasion, you'll get a flag uh, throw for face guarding or something like that. But RW was right with him, just kept looking in his eyes and went. Savoy made a move to catch the football. That's when R.W. went to work. But that was a good foot race. That's a pretty good one-on-one -on -one matchup of Big 12 premier players, McCorders and Savoy. So second down and 10, ball at the 35. Green wide to the far side. Cheverini and Stiggers to the near side. Second and 10. Hessler up under center. Back to throw. Has time over the middle. It's deflected, almost intercepted by Kenyatta Wright. Again, it was Hefner, the intended receiver. Kenyatta Wright almost picked it off. Falls incomplete, third and ten. And that's one way to shut down that play is to drop some of your backers into coverage. And that time, Kenyatta was back there as well to harass Hefner. Hefner's had a, a pretty good run the last three attempts of running free in that open spot just about ten yards downfield. The Cowboys played some games with Hessler that time and dropped backers into the pass coverage, in particular, Kenyatta Wright. Ricky Thompson checks back in. Toller and Cheverini are wideouts to the near side. Savoy to the far side. Trapping in the backfield on third down and 10 for the 35. Hessler to throw. Under pressure. Gets it off incomplete. Intended for Troutman. On the Cowboy pressure from Simpson was right on there, and so is Trent Alexander. I'm not so sure Simpson didn't get a hand on that, Bill. Maybe they'll show a replay, but he was right in Hessler's face, and that ball either was underthrown so much because he tried to get it up and over the orange uh, hands or it was tipped as he did but there's some pushing and shoving going on you can tell this game has turned into a heated one huh? how about that uh, cowboy pressure though it's fourth down here and they're going to go for it fourth and 10 from the 35 less than a minute to go in the half and the cowboys leading 19 14. yeah this is kind of a no-brainer here with 54 seconds to go they feel like they have nothing to lose so they break the huddle, and Hessler's right up under center. Stiggers and Chivarini and Savoy, the wideouts. Hessler back to throw. Under pressure. Let's it go. Incomplete. Turn around. Oh, 
Oh, there's flags all over. McQuarters is going to be called for interference, and there's absolutely no way that that ball is going to be caught. Yeah, you know, that was not a catchable ball, for one thing, and that may be what they're discussing right here, but it's going to be interference, nevertheless, on McQuarters, and that's a oh, big call for them. That's a killer. 48 seconds left in the half, and now the Buffaloes are knocking on the door. That ball was way underthrown. But Savoy, they're saying the quarters impeded Savoy's foul. path to the football. Pass interference by the defense. 15-yard previous spot. Automatic first down. Oh, boy. And now, with 48 seconds to go, Hessler has four more downs to work with here. Seventh penalty totaling 72 yards. That's two on the quarters for pass interference. Ball is going to be spotted at the 20-yard line, so it's first and 10 Colorado. Cowboys lead 19-14, but... Going to have to have something happen here. Toller and Green are wideouts. Troutman the low back. Hessler back to throw under pressure. Oh! It's Andrell Waddle sacks him way back at about the 35-yard line. Andrell Waddle with his second sack of the year. And I tell you, Hessler had a chance to throw the ball away. He looked up once. Everybody was covered. He had a chance to just throw it into the Colorado bench and not give up any field position. And now they're back at it again. Back to the 32-yard line is where they spot the ball. So it's second and 22 from there. With 19 seconds left in the half, Hessler back to throw, lets it go near side, it's caught, and on the catch is Savoy, gets inside the 25-yard line. They don't have any timeouts, the clock is going to run out before they can set for the field goal. Ricky Thompson on the stop, that was green, and that's going to be it. Tom, that was a horrible mistake for yeah. the Buffalo. All he had to do was try to get out of bounds instead of trying to run the ball. As soon as Green makes the reception, that's not knowing how many timeouts you have. That's not knowing much about the clock that's running. You had a chance to get out of bounds, stop the clock, and give the field goal unit a chance to get on. He did not do it. He kept fighting, and the Cowboys put him on the turf and run the clock out. Boy, Bob Simmons is not a happy man. He's over there talking to the officials right now he's disgusted with a couple of those calls but it's a good first half for the cowboys how about andrell waddle with that yeah. set? long drive and gather some offensive momentum and try to distance themselves a little bit from colorado colorado probably saying hey we came in here took a pretty good shot from them we're still in the ball game let's make it now a two-quarter game we've just been told 50,100 in attendance here at Lewis Field tonight, on a rainy night, the rain continues to fall. And the Cowboys hope to get this second half started in good shape. Not a good night to be out there, although it's not cold, it's windy. That wind's continued to whip out of the southeast, and it is really uh, blowing pretty hard now as we see those flags over in the northwest corner. Yeah, they can't keep the ball on the, uh, on the tee, but now they've got it set up, so they're going to kick it now. And it's Jason Leslie who's their deep kicker, their long field goal attempt guy, and he's going to kick off. He's barefooted, right-footed, kicks off. It's high, and McQuarters is going to back up in the end zone, and he's going to go down on one knee, and it'll be first and ten Cowboys from their own 20-yard line as we start the second half. And the kickers have loved kicking from uh, east to west tonight because that has been basically where the prevailing wind has taken the ball either into or through the end zone, and the Cowboys will now have to come out and deal with their first series from their own 20. Tony Lindsay's the quarterback. We see Halupka walking along the side, so apparently he is okay. Nathan Simmons is in as the lone back. Grissom wide to the near side, Love wide to the far side. Double tight ends in there for Oklahoma State. Mays and Stegs, four-man front for the Buffaloes. Now Love's in motion to the near side on first and 10 from the 20. Lindsay hands the ball off Simmons up the middle, gets across the 20 out to about the 23-yard line. That'll be a gain of three. Second down seven on the stop is Hannibal Naviz. And again, you see the free-flowing uh, free defense for Colorado. Those guys just move on the first move that you make, and they just try to plug that hole, making it a little more difficult now for the Cowboys to get a hat on hat and open up any kind of room. But they do leave themselves wide open to a cutback. Second down seven, ball at the 23-yard line. Simmons to lone back. Grissom and Love, the wideouts, one on each side. Again, a 4-3 look for the Buffaloes. Lindsey 
play action. Rolls right, wants to throw. Now does let it go, and it's almost intercepted, deflected into the hands of Mays, but he caught it out of bounds. It was off of Marcus Washington, and Lindsey is fortunate that wasn't intercepted, but went off of his hands into Mays' hands, but Alonzo was out of bounds. It'll be third down and seven. And Tony really had an opportunity to run for some yeah. yards right there. He, uh, I guess he thought he could get it up and over that uh, defender. That would have been a tough play even in an open field. He didn't have a whole lot of room in the window to throw it through because uh, Alonzo was heading to the sideline, cutting down the yardage that he had to play with. Cowboys 6 of 12 on third downs, face third and seven here from the 23. Love and Grissom wide to the far side. Simmons is the wide out to the near side. Kevin Brown the lone back as he checks in. And Nathan Simmons was way over... Got off to way too quick a start there, and the flags fly, the whistles blow, and it'll be in. So it's a five-yard penalty, and that's what we talked about at halftime. The eighth now totaling 84 yards, and it'll be third down as they back the ball up, and we'll do third and long now. And again, not on the same page or the same snap count, but the Cowboys have to kind of get this together. They're operating down their own end, and will have to be punting against that crosswind if they give the football up here on third down. Five-yard penalty, third and 12 from the 18-yard line. Grissom and Love, and now Love's confused, and so is Grissom, and everybody's rotating they around. they call a timeout here. I don't know if they're going to have enough time to get everybody set here. They're down to three seconds left in the play clock. Lindsey back to throw. This has disaster written on it. Simmons makes the catch, 25, spins across the 25, out to the 30, near a first down. He might be shy by less than a half a yard gain of about 11 there but boy I don't I don't even know how they got the play off but he's gonna be shy of the first down well they ran the slip screen from the short field into the middle of the field and that's why they had to get all those personnel reshifted it's gonna be fourth down though as Simmons was trying hard trying hard to battle his way through what do we got here fourth and inches and Lindsay looking to the sideline and there's no no indication they're gonna call a timeout the Jason's coming out Jeez. So they're going to call a timeout, and we're going to take a break with 13.45 left here, third quarter. Cowboys up 19-14. This is Cowboy Football from Learfield Sports. Shortest point between, or shortest distance between the two points is straight ahead. They don't need much, and maybe Lindsey will just sneak the ball straight ahead or try to draw them offside. We'll see what happens. You don't want to be 8 of 10 when you have the ball way back in your own territory. Eek. <laughs> Triple tight ends. May Stegs and Barry in there. Kevin Brown, the lone back. Love is wide to the far side. This could be the longest timeout in college football yeah, history. Yeah, what happened here? It, I think it is. I think we've just set a record. This is an eight-minute timeout here. <laughs> well, I hope. And now we're going. <laughs> well, this is gutsy. Fourth and less than a yard from the 29-yard line. Lindsey right up under center. Follows his center, gets across the 30. It's going to be close. Looks like he got it from here, though. I think he did. Uh, he didn't need much. He went right over Jeremy Offit. Offit just moved his man one way, actually got in the way, and he just rode off it to the right side and didn't need but a few inches. I don't know if he got more than a few inches. First down. Oh, man. First down, Cowboys. Nine of ten, I believe it is now. Man, my hair almost turned the color of yours there. It'd have to go a ways, wouldn't it? It'd have to go a ways to turn that color. 12th first down for the Cowboys. First and 10 from their own 30-yard line. Cowboys lead 19-14 here in the opening stages of the second half. Let's see if that's a confidence booster for this offense. Now, that Bob Simmons saying, look, fellas, I know you can move the football. Now, let's get it underway here. Simmons to lone back. Love is wide to the far side along with Grissom. Double tight ends in their maze and stakes. Now Simmons comes in motion to the near side, so there's nobody in the backfield. Lindsey rolls to his right, can throw or pass, is going to run, and gets to the, uh, can run or throw, I should say. Got out to the, maybe the 31-yard line. If so, he got a yard. There's an adjustment made by Colorado that time. Lindsey ran that play three times in the first half, picked up good yardage each and every time, but they kept a little ma a man wider that time toward the short end, the short side of the field, and by the time Tony turned, he had a little bit more company here in the second half, so... The Colorado defensive coach is not giving Tony that outside edge like he had in the first two quarters. No gain, second and ten from the 30. Grissom and Love wide to the far side. Simmons to lone back. Buffaloes have four at the line. Cowboys lead 19-14 third quarter. Lindsey hands the ball off to Simmons over the right side. 
And he gets out to about the 33-yard line. Ben Kelly on the stop. That's a gain of three. Third down and seven. Not much going there. Well, that's just man-on-man -man right there. The Orange Shirts trying to move back that Colorado front line. And they're doing a nice job, the front four anyway, of keeping the uh, blockers off the linebackers and letting those linebackers come in, fill the gap, and make the play. That was just man-on-man -man there. The Cowboys in another big third down situation. Yeah, the Cowboys have converted six out of 13 of those third downs. Face third down and seven here from their 30 own, for their own 33-yard line. Cowboys up 19-14. Grissom and Love again wide to the far side. Simmons remains the lone back. Buffaloes adjust defensively. Third down, Lindsey right up under center. Options to the near side. And he's going to be hammered down. He's going to lose back to the 29-yard line. A loss of about four Navis on the stop. So the Cowboys will face fourth down in about 11 now, and they'll have to pump the football. Well, you know, once burned, twice burned, maybe three times burned, but they've got that short side option pretty well covered in the second half, and Cowboy offensive coaches may be taking a look at maybe faking that, coming back the other way, because those white shirts are really free-flowing to the football, free-flowing to the sideline, and Jason Davis is going to have to punt this through the crosswind again. He's only punted once tonight for 42 yards. You stand at his 15. Herschel Troutman is deep. Good snap, gets off the punt. It's going to hit it about the 35-yard line. Takes a Cowboy bounce, not much of one. And the Cowboys will down the ball at about the 32, 33-yard line. And that's where the Buffaloes will go to work, a punt of 38 yards. Well, that's tough duty tonight, kicking into that crosswind, that wind really howling out of the southeast. And it's just basically going to knock anything down, kick that way. Every kick, both sides have been knocked down short of the goal line and also short on punt. So if Colorado's going to do anything offensively now, they got good field position here to start the second half. So they take over at the 33-yard line, first and 10. Cowboys up 19-14, third quarter. Stavoy and Chevarini the wideouts. Herschel Troutman the lone back. Cowboys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight guys in the box. Hessler on the option. Gets a block, comes wide. Fumbles the football. It's loose. And it went out of bounds. Herschel Troutman was the guy closest to it. Boy, the Cowboys had a great chance. Ricky Thompson over there to make the play. But instead, they get the ball out across the 35, out to about the 36-yard line. But Hessler had to run a long way to pick up those yards. Again, if he had any kind of speed, now the Cowboys might have been burned a little bit more. Ricky Thompson had to come a long way to make that tackle to haul him down as the Cowboys uh, got pinned inside with the pursuit. Gain of four, so it's second down and six from the 37. Stiggers so is in the backfield. Savoy and Chivarini are wide outs. Back to throw now is Hessler under pressure. Let's it go, and it's in her. Oh, it's in and out of the hands of Trent Alexander. I mean, there was nobody near him, and he dropped the football. That was much like uh, what happened with Kevin Williams. Jamal Williams just came barreling up the front, up the gut, was in Hessler's face. Hessler's getting all over one of the uh, offensive linemen there. Say, what, actually, he was tied in because he didn't run a, an escape route or at least a little safety valve route. But that was just like it happened before. I don't know if Trent was trying to run before he had it or what, but that was just thrown right to him. Like an outfielder taking his eye off the ball. It's third down and six from the 37. The Buffaloes one of four and third downs. Chevarini and Savoy, the wideouts. Troutman, the lone back on third down and six. Hessler. Straight back to throw. Now has to throw on the run. It's incomplete. Great Cowboy pressure put on. Intended for McCarty. But the Cowboys' Jamal Williams was there. Also, Waddle was there putting on the pressure. It's fourth down. Yeah, they got all over Hessler on that series. And the Cowboys playing a one deep man uh, secondary. Just to make it sure that there's a little safety valve back there. Just in case they are able to sneak A, that tight end over the middle of B, get a slant going, but Hessler hadn't had any time to throw. I mean, he was backpedaling the entire way and came up short with that. Mike Peach will punt for the first time tonight. He's averaging 37 yards on the season, has a long of 52. Stands at the 21-yard line. McQuarters is deep at about the 25. Cowboys lead 19-14 with 11 minutes left here in the third quarter. Low snap, it bounces up, he gets the kickoff. It's a little line drive that hits at the 40-yard line and takes a Buffalo bounce. And we've got, do we have a flag down? I think he his knee touched down when he went to get the oh, ball. Oh, my so gosh, that's he what did. happens. He, he went down like a shortstop to pick it up. His knee touched down, and that's where it'll be. And a major blunder on the kicking game by Colorado. Now, in the pros, 
In the NFL, that's not the situation. But as soon as your knee touches down, when you have possession of the football, that's, right. that's where it stays. And look where it is. Instead of taking over on their side of the 50, the Cowboys will have the football on the Colorado 23. What a change you're out of Peach had come in. We talked about the punting problems the Buffaloes have had this year. That was Peach's first attempt on the night. It was a low snap. He went down to get it and went down to one knee. First and 10 Cowboys from the 23. Hill, Love, and Grissom are wide out to the far side. Fobbs is to lone back as Lindsey's right up under center. First and 10 from the Buffalo 23-yard line. Long count here for Lindsay. Options to the near side. And now the, I think the play clock expired, if that's the oh, case. Oh, no. Yep, and that's going to be a big-time penalty right. Cowboys can't have it any better right now. They give it a gift here. How can that happen after a change of possession like that? The Cowboys are switching around a little bit too much, trying to get everybody in the right spot. Get that right play. They had the field stretch from side to side and really had a lot of those white shirts out of the box. But somebody didn't get there in time. The play clock went down, and it's running right now. Nine penalties totaling 89 yards, so it's first and 15 from the 28. Grissom and Love wide to the far side. Dante Hill is wide to the near side. Fobbs the lone back. Now Mays in motion to the near side. Lindsey back to throw. Has some time, throws the ball one to the near sideline to Mays, and it's intercepted. It is intercepted at the four-yard line by Marcus Washington, and make that Sutter on the interception, and it was intended for Mays, who was pushed out of bounds, he thought, but that pass really had no chance of being completed. And plus, again, he's thrown into that crosswind. It held it up long enough for the safety to come over and make the play. All Tony saw was the one-on-one -on -one competition going down the line, and uh, Mays never could get any kind of inside position he did not account for the fact that when he threw it up there in the crosswind it would hang for the safety to pick it up so colorado turns the cowboys away and they're still alive first and ten buffaloes from their own four yard line the cowboys had golden opportunity there and really let that one get away by getting a delay a game call and then throwing the interception for lindsay his second interception of the year hessler comes in first and ten from the four yard line Savoy and Stiggers are wideouts. Trap on the low back, and he's in the end zone. He gets the handoff over the right side across the five, across the 10. Ricky Thompson brings him down at the 14-yard line. That's a gain of 10. Will be close to a first down if he didn't get it. Yeah, that's too much yardage in a first down play when you're backed up to your, your own goal line. He got enough with that extra burst to pick up the first. So it is a first down. It'll be first and 10 now, Buffaloes, from the 14-yard line. That's their 11th first down. Put it at the 15-yard line. Don't you know the Buffaloes feel like they got a reprieve after the Cowboys had a chance to do some damage? Trapman the low back with two wides to the far side. Hessler options to the near side, breaks one tackle, and then his haul down. A flag is dropped. It's Ricky Thompson who gets him at about the 18, 19-yard line. But again, there is a flag down. They threw the flag right at the feet of Adam Reed, and they may get a hole right here. It is holding against the Buffaloes. So this one will be marked off the other direction. Cowboys lead 19-14. Was holding by the offense. 10 yards, first down. You hear the call, so it'll be first down now, and ball will be backed up to the eight-yard line. So it's first and 17 from there. And the Cowboys, who were opportunistic defensively in two of the last three series of the first half, will try to get this ball back for the offense again. First down, first down the ball is at the eight-yard line. Savoy, Stiggers, and Cheverini are wideouts. Troutman remains alone back. Hester to throw the ball over the middle, and it is caught by Savoy, who did a nice job holding on, gets out to the 18-yard line. That's a gain of 10. Well, he got rid of that in a hurry. And that's one way to beat that pressure, one of the many ways. And as we said in the pregame, and it has really played out here, Colorado, of all the opponents the Cowboys have faced this year, much more equipped, better equipped to handle this kind of pressure that the Cowboys have put on defensively over the first five games. And that's one way to handle it with a quick slant. Second and seven from the 18-yard line. 
Green and Cheverini wideouts now. Again, Troutman remains as the lone back. Cowboys have Simpson on the outside showing blitz. Hester throws. It's incomplete, intended for Cheverini at about the 25-yard line on a crossing pattern. A quick slant. It falls incomplete. It'll be third down. And that, he might have thrown that just a tad too early. Looked like he was really getting, trying to get rid of it. Didn't give his receiver a chance to even look up and get into the pattern. It was behind him to begin with, but the Cowboys threw Trent Fisher out there in the pass coverage as well, so there were probably more orange shirts than Hessler wanted to see, so we had another Fisher? third down. How about Trent Fisher, Trent Alexander? <laughs> Trent, Trent would not want to be mentioned tonight, probably. Third and seven from the 18-yard line. Hessler right up under center, two wides to the far side, one to the near side. Hessler back to throw. Cowboys cutting at him. He makes the pass, and it's complete across the 25 out to near the 30-yard line. Cheverini on the catch, a gain of 12, and that's a first down. The Cowboys brought everybody up that time, but Hessler was able to get rid of it, and it's a first down, and Zach Aiken checks in the lineup and it was Trent Alexander that time who came free from the safety spot he came flying up the middle he got right into Hessler but Hessler stayed in there as long as he could and threw a strike to Cheverini 12 first downs first and 10 Buffaloes from their own 30 yard line Cowboys up 19 14 Hessler hands the ball to Trout up the middle spins and then brought down by Alexander as he gets out to about the 35 nearly the 36 yard line Troutman's really picking up more yardage than the Cowboy coaches felt like he could. Troutman didn't have much going in terms of yardage in the first half, but he's had a couple of big holes to run through here in the second quarter, in the uh, second half. And Brandon Ashley into the lineup now as Waddle comes out. It's second down and about four, ball at the 36-yard line. So boy and Stiggers are wideouts. Troutman the lone back. Cowboys now is seven at the line. The handoff to Trowman. Gets a big hole, breaks a tackle, then Alexander gets him around the ankles, but he gets out to the 43-yard line, a gain of seven, and another first down. This is a good-looking drive by Colorado. Again, feeling like they got a major reprieve when they got the interception. Look like for all the world, the Cowboys would put more points on the board, and they have moved this thing from their own four had to overcome a penalty in the process and they're moving it well on the ground and in the air. Mallory out, Jamal Williams back in. It is first and 10 Buffaloes from their own 43. Traubman six carries, 28 yards. Cowboys lead 19-14. About midway through here this third quarter. Two wides to the near side, one to the far side. Cowboys rush four this time with one man in the backfield, and that's Troutman. Now the Cowboys bring up to the line and Hessler doesn't like what he sees. He wants to call a timeout, and he got it off. Just beat the play clock. There is a flag down, but... I don't know if he beat it or not. I don't either. He tried to. He tried to get that play clock beat, but there was a... One of the officials threw the laundry behind the play. He had a good look at that play clock on the east side. Prior to the count, dead ball, delay our game, Colorado, no timeout charge. So no timeout, you heard it, delay of game, and that helps the Cowboy cause. Yeah, no question. Colorado, of course, does not have to be charged with a timeout, but they wasted a, a big chance right there, and that moves them back. So that's a second penalty in this drive. They've had the ball for about coming up a little more than three minutes on this drive, trying to do some damage, but yet to move it across the 50. Six penalties totaling 44 yards, first and 15 Buffaloes from their own 38. Savoy and Cheverini wide to the far side. Trout with the running back. Gets the handoff up the middle. Cowboys stuff him. He gets out to the 39-yard line, a gain of a yard. He may have got to the 40. Jamal Williams, Brandon Ashley on the stop. Give him two. Cowboys move right before the snap, and all of a sudden, Jamal Williams wasn't over the center. He was a little bit more over the guard and tackle situation. Troutman didn't see him, and Jamal got rid of the guy in front of him and came right up, plugged the hole, and I mean, when Troutman got there and hit Jamal, there was no more further motion of field it was just stop right there dead mo simpson in terrell Knowles is out second and 13 ball at the 40 cowboys lead 19 14 third quarter kessler sends two wide outs to the near side one to the far side trap with the low back kessler to throw Pumps once, pumps twice, throws, and it's incomplete. Brandon Ashley was all over Hessler. And I'll tell you what Ashley did well on that play, Bill. He never left his feet. He could sense that they were setting him up for the screen. He got in too quickly. So he just kept his feet, kept his feet. The ball was up in the air, and I believe it was Troutman who was trying to come free on the slip screen from right to left. He made the move, but the play was completely messed up by Ashley, who would not leave his feet and stayed in the face of Hessler. Buffaloes are two out of six and third downs. Face third and 13 here for their own 40-yard line. Ashley, a good job there. 
Hessler goes to work. Three wides to the near side. Stiggers, Cheverini, Savoy wide to the other side. Troutman alone back on third and 13. Hessler right back to throw. Gets it off. Wide open is Troutman. 45, 50, 45. He's tackled. A good job by the Cowboys' Ricky Thompson, who gets him inside the 45-yard line. But, boy, that was a nice play. Hessler gets it off in a big game first down. That was a good play by Colorado. They let they had Troutman just sift out there into the open space. They ran the corner off. That was McQuarters, and uh, Ricky Thompson was late getting. He's on his knee right now. He's going to be tended to by the Cowboy trainers, but he was just a tad slow covering Troutman out of the backfield, and Hessler, under a tremendous rush, was able to get it up and over some outstretched hands. It wasn't a long pass, but it was effective enough to give Troutman some operating room. 17 yards on that pickup. That was a big, big play there, and Hessler was able to do it. And Ricky's walking over there on the far side and coming back across, so hopefully he'll be okay. 68 degrees right now, so the winds are gusting past 20, near 25 miles an hour. So I, I don't know if we gave this score an update, but at the half, somewhat of a surprising score, Texas Tech in Lubbock leading Kansas 10 to nothing. Cowboys lead here 19-14, approaching seven minutes left here, third quarter. Buffaloes have had the ball forever in this quarter. They've kind of moved up, moved back, and moved back, and they've still, play, still have the ball and trying to get in the end zone. They've had it since the 10-49 mark. Ball on the Cowboy 43. Trout with a low back behind Hessler. Two wideouts to the near side. Cowboys with a four-man front this time. Hessler to Troutman right up the middle. 40, 35. Trent Alexander, an ankle tackle as he gets down to about the 32-yard line. That's a gain of 11 and another first down. And a nice blocking job by the guys up front for Colorado, opening in just enough of a gap and enough of a hole for Troutman to slip through. And Again, we remember Troutman of being quick afoot. Once he's able to get into the secondary now, he's a danger to take at the distance. This Cowboy defense has been on the field for a long time, having a hard time finding its way to the sideline. That was Barnes, actually, in that last run, so give him 11 yards. First and 10 from the 32. Barnes remains in there. Savoy and Cheverini wide to the near side. Barnes has scored two touchdowns tonight. Kessler back to throw this time. Has lots of time. Throws the ball deep into a crowd. And it's incomplete. Savoy looked like he was going up, going to make the catch. Back there was McQuarters. Williams was back there. There were two Buffaloes and three Cowboys. It falls incomplete, but it almost looked like Savoy was going to pull it down. I'm not so sure Savoy didn't have it for a second, and one of the Cowboys was able to rip his arms away from the football, and it dropped to the turf right there in the end zone. What a nice pass by Hessler. I mean, he laid it right there, and it was Savoy against three defenders. And well, it was... He had no other choice but to go up there, and he almost stepped in there and made a nice adjustment to catch the football. Would that have been a great catch? Second down and 10 from the 32-yard line. Barnes the low back, two wides to the far side, one to the near side. One, two, three, four, five, six Cowboys at the line. Cheverini in motion to the near side. Hessler to throw, gets rid of it. Cheverini makes the catch, and he is hammered at the 28 by Kevin Williams. What a hit. I tell you, Hessler hung Cheverini out to dry right there. He had to go up high, turn around, and Kevin Williams had a bead on him from the open. As soon as he saw the ball was thrown, he made the break. Cheverini went up to get it, and he is wobbly, and Kevin Williams stuck that helmet right there between the numbers. So it's third down, and about six. The ball at the 28-yard line. The Buffaloes three of seven on third downs. Well, they've converted on two third yep. down situations here on this drive alone which is eating up a lot of time fortunately no points well the play clock has expired again sideline warning okay sideline warning against the cowboys so they'll go back to work the play clock did not run out of time i think i said shot clock there didn't i you might have. <laughs> Shoot the ball! Uh, you might have said the shot clock kind of wound down. Third and six for the 28. Robert Toller and Savoy wide to the far side. Marlon Barnes is in there at running back. Hessler back to throw. Here come the Cowboys. Gets rid of it. It's complete to the 25, to the 20. Ankle tackle is Marlon Barnes as he gets inside the 20. Hessler got hammered when he got rid of it, but he set it up perfectly. 
And it's down to the 17-yard line, a gain of 11, and another first down. A little screen to Barnes, not very fancy. Kenyatta Wright beat his man, came right up the gut, and Hessler, cool as could be, was not ruffled, not rattled at all, waited till the last second, didn't throw it very far, just had to flip it to Barnes, and Barnes did a nice job of running once he caught the football. Hessler's pretty cool customer at times, well, isn't he? You know he's seen blitzes before now. I mean, that's that's the way to get to this guy, and he doesn't get rattled too well. Barnes the lone back, two wides to the far side, one to the near side, first and ten. Buffaloes from the Cowboys, 17, pitches the ball to Tom's left side, 15, inside the 15. Barnes gets down to the 14-yard line. Jamal Williams on the stop, a gain of three there. It'll be second down and seven. It's Barnes again on the carry. That's the 14th play of this drive already. And this Cowboy defense has been out there a long, long time. And having to rush Hessler time and time again and still come up with a big play. So this is taking a lot of energy out of that defense. They're trying to make a stand here. And if nothing else, force a field goal and keep the lead. Troutman is back in. Barnes goes to the bench. Savoy and Toler are the wideouts. Second and seven from the 14. Hessler to throw. Pulls up. Goes to the end zone. Knocked away by Kevin Williams, but a flag is down in the end zone. Williams was battling into the corner, and this will be another pass interference call, I think, about the, on the Cowboys. Here's Kevin Williams right there, bumping and running right there with him as the ball was in the air. This is the danger and the explosiveness of the Colorado offense. Savoy was the man, the intended receiver, but this will go against the Cowboys. The foul. Pass in the first. By the defense. Penalized to the two-yard line. First down. So it's first and goal from the two-yard line. The Cowboys now have been penalized ten times for 101 yards, and three of those at least are pass interference calls, so the ball's down to the two-yard line. And this is what you can get out of your passing game when you've got a guy like Hessler who can throw the ball on the money and get rid of it in a hurry, and receivers like they have. You've got to honor them. Fix is the fullback, trap on the tailback, and first and goal from the two-yard line. Hessler in the option, comes to the near side. Official rules touchdown. Hessler gets into the end zone for a touchdown. And you don't think of Hessler as being a speed merchant by any means when you think about running the option, but the guy gets to the corner quicker than you think. He didn't need a lot to go. He ran it to the short side and was able to extend just as the tackle was made. And in this seesaw battle, Colorado's back on top. So a long, long drive for the Buffaloes. Hessler does a nice job running the option, just did get into the end zone. And now they'll attempt the extra point. It'll be Jeremy Aldrich to attempt the extra point. So the Buffaloes have regained the lead at 20 to 19 here with just under four minutes left in the third quarter. It's, it's a fake. It is Hessler's going to run the ball in, and he gets in. A two-point conversion. Hessler gets the ball into the end zone on the two-point conversion. And that's a... Cowboys getting some payback maybe from last week. And that's a big two points right there because you, you have to figure they were going to try that. Uh, the 20-19 to 19 situation was not going to do them any good. They were able, it looked like a pretty simple play. He just picked it yep. up and took off. We've got a timeout, 3.55 left to feel a lot this quarter, and I'm not so sure some of that fatigue didn't show in the last three snaps that Colorado made. It was a little tough getting to the corner there. Jason Leslie will kick off. Cowboys have McQuarters deep. Flanked by Kevin Williams and Dante Hill. Cowboys trail 22-19 here with 3.55 to go third quarter. Leslie's kick is up. It is high. And McWhorter's going to go deep into the end zone, let it go over his head. And the Cowboys will go first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Cowboys haven't had many snaps here in the third quarter. They're going to start from their own 20. And before they do, we'll remind you, Taco Mayo has the perfect answer for your game day hungry. It's the new queso melt recipe, nacho mayo with seasoned beef or grilled chicken or chili. Try it today and taste the new Taco Mayo. Sounds good to me. That always sounds good to yeah. you. First and 10 from the 20-yard line. Chris Haluka into the lineup. Nathan Simmons, the running back. Dante Hill and Sean Love wide to the far side. Grissom wide to the near side. Mays is the tight end on the near side. First and 10 Cowboys from the 20-yard line. Mays in motion to the far side. Haluka falls down. He tripped over, I don't know if it was Mays or who, as he went back. 
And he'll go down at the 15-yard line. That's a loss of five, and it'll be second and 15. Cowboy offense has really had a hard time getting on track here in the third quarter. And how big was that turnaround? Cowboys have enjoyed that kind of a success for the last four games, but leading it uh, at halftime, 19-14, had the ball on the Colorado 23 after that mess up on the punt, seemed to have a chance to get points, and all of a sudden they're behind. Grissom and Love wide to the far side, Hill to the near side. Simmons the lone back, now Mays in motion to the near side. Halupka hands the ball off to Simmons, breaks a couple of tackles, keeps the legs going, and is going to be hauled down at about the 20-yard line. Nice run. Brian Sutter brings him down. A gain of five. It'll be third and ten, but boy, Nathan had to work for those yards. And the first downs have not been good to Oklahoma State really throughout much of the night. Not a whole lot shaken on those first down runs, and the Cowboys have faced a lot of second and long, third and longs here this evening. And right now they face third down and ten from their own 20-yard line. Hill and Fobbs and Mays are wide, or Love wide to the far side. Grissom to the near side. Halupka back to throw under pressure, lets it go, and it short hops it incomplete. Intended for Sean Love, it would have been shy of the 30-yard line. And there's an injured Buffalo down there in the field. It looks like Hannibal Naviz. And that's exactly what the Cowboy defense did not want to see, a three and out and go back out again. So Naviz is okay. He's up and going. It's fourth and ten from the 20-yard line. The Cowboys will have to punt with two and a half minutes left here, third quarter. Cowboys down by three. Davis will punt. Troutman goes deep. Jason averaging 40 on two punts. Needless to say, the Cowboys need a big play from the special teams here. High snap, but he doesn't have to leave. Oh, he gets off a nice punt. Very nice. Troutman comes up, makes the catch at the 28, and the Cowboys are going to hammer him down back at the 23-yard 20, line. Great coverage there by the Cowboys. Evan Howe give him credit for the tackle, a 52-yard punt. And that's a way to turn the field around in a hurry. Now the Cowboy defense is back out there to try to get the ball back and give that field position game, try to play the field position game and get the Cowboy offense as far side. Cowboys will bring four to the line. First and 10 from the 26. Back to passes, Hester, lots of time, all kinds of time. Throws the ball, it's complete. Across the way by to McCafferty, and he is tackled right away by Jack Golden after a gain of four as he gets out to the 30-yard line. I'm sure now Rick Neuheisel would like for his uh, offensive unit to kind of work on the clock a little bit. They want a nice, long drive time-consuming drive and they're gonna they've got the again the equipment to do that bill with the short passing game and they've gotten more out of the running game tonight you say well, well how many yards do they have not enough to knock your socks off but enough first down runs to keep the Cowboys off balance second and 16 from the 30 traveling the lone back and it's Savoy and Chevarini wide one on each side Hessler hands the ball off to Traubman pushes across the 30 spins out gets out to about the 34 maybe the 35 Ricky Thompson brings him down It'll be third down and about a yard. And those are the kind of runs, again, that kind of dictate maybe some fatigue in the middle right there. Troutman as a good runner, no question, but he's uh, making a lot of yards of late. And I say a lot, quote, unquote, but he's getting yards after the first contact. And he's a tough package to bring down. What a big third down here again. It's fourth down and nearly two. Or third down, I'm sorry, third down and nearly two. The uh, Buffaloes are four of eight on third down plays. Troutman and Fisk. Fisk is the fullback in there as they work out of the eye. Third down. Kessler calls timeout. Did he nope. get it off? I don't think he did. Again, the play clock got down to zero. He jumped up like I wanted a timeout. I don't think he got it. Nope. Boy, that wow. is costly. Uh, we hope it's costly. And you could tell Rick Neuheisel is not too happy with that. He's talking to somebody. Of course, Neuheisel is the one who calls the offense for the most part. And uh, he has probably himself to blame on getting that play in late. But nevertheless, uh, that changes the personality of this play considerably. Third and two, not third and seven. But Hessler's had a pretty good hot hand here in the second half with the short pass. Seventh penalty totaling 49 yards. Let's see if the Cowboys can shut that down. Third down and six from the 30. Trap in the low back. Stiggers and Chevarini and Savoy, the wideout. Tesler, quick drop throws, incomplete. Oh. The quarters maybe could have had that one. Savoy, the intended receiver. I think Savoy broke the pattern off. He just took one step and really didn't go after the football very hard. He didn't need much, but nevertheless, we'll take that. And 
with uh, 32 seconds to go. They're going to have to punt the ball away. I tell you, though, it's amazing how little things mean a lot. You go from third down at about a yard, yard and a half, to third and six changes your call completely. Yeah, that's a big difference, uh, especially in a tight ball game and when you're operating inside your own 30. Nick Peach will try to punt this one. He's the guy that went down on one knee earlier, stands at the 15. Good snap this time, gets off the punt. McQuarters takes it at the 32, comes wide, it's cut off, pulls up, gets to the 35, and he is hammered right there at the 35, maybe the 36-yard line. And on the stop for the uh, Buffaloes is John Sanders again, so that's a 38-yard punt and a three-yard return. And they've had a pretty good uh, scouting report, and you know they spent a lot of time this week on trying to... Ball and they make him kick it again. So a false start by the Buffalo, so they will kick it again. These are the latest flags I yeah. think I've seen in a long time. I mean, the play's already underway, and all of a sudden the flag comes down, and uh, I guess they're just having a hard time getting it out of the pocket tonight. Well, it's that wet air, Tom. That must be it. it must got wet. It's hard to take it out of the pocket, but I'm sure McQuarters would like another shot at it again. The Cowboys haven't been able to get a whole lot out of the special team returns in terms of field position, but this in itself will buy him five yards, and maybe... Uh, the punter will help again with a shank and give the Cowboys the ball on the 50, on the side of the 50 for Colorado. Eight penalty, 54 yards. So this time Peach is back inside his 10. McWhorter stands at his 35. Yeah, you never know. Maybe they can make a bad punt or something bad happen to them here on fourth down. Yeah, they've been an adventure in this punting game tonight. Really all year. Peach stands at the nine-yard line. Good snap this time. Gets off the punt. That's better. Yeah, McCorders backs up. Now takes it at the 28-yard line. Has some room to run to the 30. And gets back out to about the 35, the 34-yard line. So we're going to start over first and 10 from there. And the stop that time was Ben Kelly. That's a 48-yard punt with a seven-yard return. Well, that's good coverage, too, by the White Shirts. They were down there. They had three people in tackling positions to make sure that RW1 could not split the first wave down, and also they had the edge cover so he couldn't turn the corner. Cowboys trail 22-19 with eight seconds left here in the third quarter. Cowboys trot out. Tony Lindsay's back at quarterback. Jam uh, Fobbs, Jamal Fobbs is in there running back. Howell and uh, Hill are wide outs to the near side. Double tight ends in there for the Cowboys. Eight seconds left here in the third quarter. First and 10 Cowboys from their own 34-yard line. Hill goes in motion to the far side. Halupka hands the ball off to Fobbs, goes wide, cuts up 35, and fights up his way to near the 40-yard line. Sutter on the stop, and that will be the final play of the third quarter. So we'll take a break. One quarter to go. The Cowboys trail the Buffaloes 22-19. You're listening to Cowboy Football. What's in your checkbook besides checks? Oh, your driver's license. I guess you need that for an ID. Credit cards. A right to our left now. Lindsey, the quarterback. Fobbs, the lone back. Howell and Hill are wide outs. Double tight ends being Stegs and Mays. Cowboys trail 22-19 as we start the fourth quarter. Lindsey sends Hill in motion to the far side. Tony hands the ball off to Fobbs right side. 40. Keeps those legs moving, but he's going to be hauled down as he gets just across the 41-yard line. Washington on the stop. It's a gain of four on the play. It'll be third down and about two. What the Cowboys haven't been able to do is get that big, big play built tonight from the running game. And that's, uh, again, a credit to this Colorado defense. We told you that in most of the defensive categories, the Buffaloes have been in the upper echelon of the Big 12, the upper half especially. So they've been holding their own. And this is yet another close game. Colorado's been here before right, three times in the first four outings. Third down and about three. Ball at the 41-yard line. Fobbs the lone back. One wide out on each side. Howland Hill. Lindsey. Play action. Rolls right. He's going to run with the ball. 40, 45, 50. He's to the 45, 40. Hauled down from behind as he gets out to about the 37-yard line. Hannibal Davies. Boy, he could have thrown the ball if he wanted to. 
fortunately kept it and took off. What a good decision by Tony Lindsay. He had a man deep who was running off the corner. He had Steggs underneath. He was wide open. He could have thrown to Steggs. But Tony wasted no time. Once he got to the edge, he said, hey, I'll just take it myself. And by the time those white shirts could recover, he was already 10, 12 yards downfield. And with Tony's uh, speed, it was a no contest. So that's a big, big gain. And the Cowboys are moving the football. A gain of 23 to be... Exact first and ten Cowboys from the Buffalo 36-yard line. Fobbs the lone back. Again, it's Howell and Hill as wideouts, and Hill comes in motion to the near side. Lindsey, play action to throw over the middle. Mays makes a catch. He's to the 20, inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line. Sutter on the stop. That's a gain of 18 yards and another first down. What a nice touch by Lindsey. He waited for Mays to break free at the line of scrimmage. There was one-on-one -on -one coverage there. Mays got rid of that man in a hurry. And, of course, that's like throwing the ball up on the backboard in basketball. Let him go get it. But nice touch from Tony Lindsey, who's got the Cowboys on the move. First and 10 Cowboys from the 18-yard line. 14 first down. Boy, that was a sweet play. Less than 14 minutes left in the ballgame. Cowboys down by three. Lindsey sends Grissom, Hill, and Love wide to the near side. Fobbs the lone back and first and 10 from the 18. Now Fobbs in motion to the far side. Lindsey, options to the far side, cuts up 15, inside the 15. And he gets down to about the 14-yard line is where they say he's down. A gain of four. Ryan Olson on the stop. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Cowboy Football. This is OSU Football on 93.7 The Spy. Your great sports connection, KSBI FM Stillwater. I am just a cowboy. Back and down. Ball is at the 14-yard line, so it's second down at about six. Cowboys trail 22-19. Cowboys have Kevin Brown in now, and they go in with two tights, so they're going to try to grind this thing out. Kevin Brown, the only back behind Lindsey. Grissom is wide to the near side. As Brown's alone back, stays in motion to the near side. Lindsey on the draw play, comes the other way. He can run to the 10. He gets to the 5. And he's going to be out at the one-yard line. That's just using the Cowboys' strength against against what was really the weakness of Colorado all night long is their ability to get to the edge. Tony, just a play and draw, goes back two steps, makes a take to the right, lets everybody go in that direction, it cuts it back as they're leaning to their left, and his speed to the edge gets it down there in scoring position. A gain of 13, it's first and goal from the one-yard line. Cowboys trail 22-19, fourth quarter. That's just a matter right there, and Grissom trying to get rid of that last defender. That's just a matter of being quicker than the guys trying to tackle you. The play clock has been reset now. The ball, the wind had blown the ball down. Again, it's gusting to about 25 miles an hour. Cowboys break the huddle. Kevin Brown, the fullback, fobs the tailback. First and goal from the one. Triple tight ends. Stegs in motion to the near side is the tight end. They give this to Fobbs. Goes over the right side. It's to the goal line, and that's it. He is going to be stopped shy, so it'll be second down and goal. What a collision there at the goal line. Look for all the world like he was going to just power his way in. Keep in mind now, Bill, this is the fourth straight snap the Cowboys have had going back to that first half possession where they had the ball down deep and did not score. So let's see if they're going to have fake in the middle, maybe Brown carry, but get Tony on the edge. they got to push this in here for an offensive yeah. score. Here. We need six here. Second down and goal from the one. Again, Brown the fullback, Fobbs the tailback. Lindsey on the keeper. Dives in, but uh, we haven't seen any signal yet from the officials. I think his foot slipped, Bill, to begin with, and then he wasn't able to get his, his footing, and he was thrown back behind the line of scrimmage. So that's five straight plays where Colorado has stood tall on its own doorstep. Well, there's some people slow getting up, too, down there. Well, Lindsey hops out. It is third down and goal from the one-yard line. And it's a I matter. mean, it's, yeah, it's a matter of inches there. It's just a matter of right here in the short field. The guys in orange have to blow the white guys back into the end zone. They don't need to. Just a yard back should be enough for a quarterback sneak. Third and goal from the one-yard line. Brown the fullback. Bob's the tailback. Lindsey again on the keeper. This time he's in. Touchdown, Cowboys. 
That's again just blowing back into the end zone. They didn't need much. They didn't get much. But Lindsey waited just a split second to make that move across the line of scrimmage, extended the ball up there just to be sure it crossed the plane, and the Cowboys in this seesaw battle take the lead again. So Tim Sidness is on to attempt the extra point. The Cowboys have regained the lead. Boy, that was sweet. You had to get those six, and the Cowboys did it. So Sidness will attempt the extra point. Brown the holder, good snap, good kick. And it is good. We've got a timeout with 11.21 to go. That's a big point right there because the Cowboys up it to where they've got to score a touchdown right now. So the Cowboys lead at 26-22. This is Cowboy football. So important because that gives the Cowboys a four-point lead at 26-22. And a pressure drive engineered by Lindsey who comes back from that interception turnover to get the Cowboys back on top again. And if you're looking for little edges now in this fourth quarter, the Cowboys are kicking with that crosswind. And Sweatman, when he had that situation in the first quarter, was able to kick it through the end zone each and every time. Ben Kelly and Barnes are deep. Make that Wheeler. Wheeler and Kelly. Wheeler and Kelly are deep. There's the kickoff. It sails into the end zone. The two of them fight over it. Make the catch. Go down to one knee. Colorado first and 10 from its own 20. And a good time to remind you that Cowboy football is brought to you by OG&E. Power at the speed of life. 26-22. Cowboys have regained the lead with 11-15 left here in the ballgame. And now, Bill, it's all in the hands of the defense trying to get things hand it back to the offense. Cowboys need to come up with a big stand right here. They had just a little bit rest. That probably seemed like a day off, that drive yep. for the Cowboys, because the defense have been out there a lot in the second half. Stinger, Cheverini, and Savoy are wideouts. Troutman the lone back behind Hessler. First and 10, Buffaloes from the 20-yard line. Troutman the handoff up the middle, a big hole across the 25, out to the 27-yard line. Nalls on the stop, a gain of seven. It'll be second down and three. Well, I tell you, Troutman's had a nice, nice hole to run through here in the second half. That offensive line doing a good job of letting the Cowboys lean a little bit, this time to their left, and they pinned them over there, and Troutman just took it back to his left. He doesn't need much of a hole. He's had a big gap to run through. And again, another great uh, performance on first down for Colorado. They've had a lot of those second and short, third and short. They sure have. Second and three here for the 27-yard line. Cheerington is the low back with one wide out on each side. Cowboys with five at the line. Hessler, play action, rolls right, throws on the run, incomplete. And the intended receiver was a big tight end. And that was Desmond Dennis who falls incomplete. Alexander on the coverage. It's third down. They brought TK Terrell Nalls off the edge that time, and Hessler turned around on the boot, looked up, and all of a sudden there was 32 in his face, and he had to throw the ball just a tad quicker than he wanted to before the receiver could make his break. How big is this play? Third and three, you hold him, get him to punt the ball, and get back in the offense. So Cowboys are facing another defensive stand here. Buffaloes are four out of nine on third down tries here, face third and three from their own 20. 27. Hessler, the quarterback. Troutman, the lone tailback. Stanley, or rather, Savoy and Chevarini are wideouts. Back to throw is Hessler. He's got time. Now throws over the middle, and it is caught at the 24 yard line by Hefter, or at the 34 yard line. Ricky Thompson on the coverage. Again, is seven first down. Well, that's a pressure throw and a pressure catch, and it was a tough catch to make, but it was down there where nobody could get to him. Hessler had the rush on him. He was backpedaling, backpedaling. It looked like almost he sidearmed that ball to get it away from the uh, pursuit coming up the middle. You know, I think Kenyatta Wright was kind of trying to get the crowd going, and by the time he turned around, the play had started. First and 10 from the 35. Two wides to the far side, one to the near side. Hessler's changing at the line of scrimmage. Trauman is low back. Hessler pitches the ball to Trauman on the option, comes to the wide side, and is tackled at about the 37-yard line. There's a flag down. Kenyatta Wright and Terrell Nalls on the stop. A gain of only a couple, but again, there's a flag down. That could very well be a hole downfield right there. Well, that lineman was a long way downfield, but anyway, might have been a bit holding going on. It is holding. It is against Colorado. Less than 10 minutes to go in the ball game. Cowboys lead 26-22. That's a big penalty right there because it's going to move them back again where a turnover where you, can, you really can't operate as freely as you would like to, although that doesn't seem to bother Hessler too many times. He doesn't care where he is on the field. He'll put it up. Yeah, that's been the case tonight. 
was holding by the offense. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Replay first down. So you hear the call, and we'll tell you where the ball is actually going to be spotted here. Cowboys up 26, 22, 9.59 to go. And so the ball will be spotted at the 27-yard line, and they need to get to the 45. So it's first down and about 18. Charrington, the running back, Hessler, the quarterback. Sends McCarty in motion, back to throw as Hester gets the ball off, and it is caught on the near sideline, 25, 30, 35, 40, to the 50-yard line, in Cowboy territory, he runs right over him. And it's Charrington who's gonna go all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Oh, brother, he ran right over the Cowboys. Ricky Thompson just got hammered, he ran right over him. Cowboys had three opportunities to take him down. They brought the kitchen sink on him, they brought it, set up the, uh, the uh, screen nicely, a little side screen again, and that was all Cherry did, who did all the work, though. He ran through three tackle attempts to take it on in, and back on top go the buffs, and that is disappointing oh. because the Cowboys had him in a, a long third, uh, second down situation where they had to put the ball up, but a nice call, again, by the offensive coaches from Colorado. Boy, that just silenced the crowd here. It's 28-26 Colorado with 9.46 left in the ball game. And they'll attempt the extra point, and it'll be Aldrich who will attempt the extra point. Boy, what a turnaround. 73 yards on that screen pass. Kick is up, and the kick is good. We've got a timeout with 9.46 left. The Cowboys are down 29-26. You're listening to Cowboy Football. The Agri Center in Stillwater is more than Stillwater's finest farm and ranch supply store. Yeah, they got good field position. Anyway, that's, that takes the... The guts of a gambler right there, uh, Williams did again, coming up on that short pooch kick. And, you know, there's no room for error. If you take it and you drop it or it goes through your hands, there's a lot of white shirts around to cover it. But Oklahoma State gets another gift here in terms of field position. And here they come again to try to get in the end zone. It's at the Colorado 48-yard line. Grissom and Love wide to the far side. Brown the lone back. Tony Lindsay the quarterback. First and 10 from the Buffalo 48. Mays in motion to the far side. Lindsey rolls that way to his right. Wants to throw back, now has to run the ball. Gets to the 50, goes out of bounds at the 49. He'll actually lose a yard there. But that was pretty smart because he tried that same play that he hit Steggs with on that long gainer in the, early in the ball game, but this time it was covered. And so it'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second down, or make it a loss of two. And Colorado also on that play had a lot more assignments uh, for Lindsey in the possible roll right, ran it to the short side of the field. In fact, the linebacker stayed home pretty well that time, and all of a sudden when Lindsey looked up, there wasn't as much room to run as it was the last time. Second down and 12, ball at the midfield stripe. Love and Grissom wide to the near side. Kevin Brown, the lone back. The handoff is to Brown up the middle. Gets back into Buffalo their territory down to the 47-yard line. Navis on the stop, a gain of three, but it's third down and nine. And Boy, the Cowboys had great field position and so far have been struggling to take advantage of that. And really, as we said before, haven't been able to get a lot going in the big play variety on the, on the running game tonight. That's a credit to that front seven from Colorado. We told you they were tough coming in, and they've lived up to their billing. Stegs comes out, Dante Hill in. Third down and nine. Cowboys are seven out of 15 and third down tries tonight. Buffalo's lead at 29-26, less than nine minutes to go. Brown the lone back. Hill comes wide to the near side. Three wideouts, including Mays to the near side. One to the far side. Lindsey back to throw over the middle, and he throws, overthrows a Mays, led him too far. He's down to about the 30-yard line. Sutter on the coverage. So the Cowboys had great field position. Couldn't do anything with it. It's fourth down to nine. And now it's Jason Davis's uh, chore to just pooch that thing down there and try to get that Colorado re punt return man to down it or fair catch it inside the 10 and give the defense an opportunity to turn the ball over to him again. That's his, his deal. He doesn't want to kick it into the end zone and give up any kind of field position, but it may be a little more difficult because he's kicking with the wind basically behind him. Troutman has averaged eight yards of return coming into this game and Jason, 44-yard average and three punts stands inside his 40-yard line. Cowboys down by three with 8.39 to go, 29-26. Good snap. Gets off a high punt, but I think he hit it too hard. Fair catch called for by Troutman. Hits at the 40-yard line. 
Oh, the Cowboys goodness. down the ball at the one-yard line. At the one-yard line, the Cowboys down the ball. Wow. And that thing, when it hit, Bill, continued to go at a right angle and just kind of ran parallel to the goal line. It never did take that kick up, almost like he threw that nine iron in on the green and it sucked back to the stick. That time it stayed right there, ran parallel, and it looks like they're going to spot it at the two-yard line, and the Cowboy defense is back on the field looking to pick off or maybe turn it back over here. Well, that was sweet. Ends up a 46-yard punt, and Colorado goes to work from deep in its own territory, and now the Cowboy defense, Tom, really has to make something happen. Real good success on first down tries, especially here in the second half. So the timeout is now completed, and we're ready to go to work. Cowboy defense hoping for a big play here. Weaver, Williams, Mallory and Waddle on that front line. First and 10 from the two-yard line. Fisk, the fullback, Troutman, the tailback, both line up in the end zone. Hessler hands it to Troutman up the middle over the left side. Gets out to the three-yard line, so it'll be a gain of about a yard. On the stop, Kenyatta right. Nothing too fancy there. Iso play. Had the full back ahead. Just let him lead the way. Hand it to Trout and try to get as much as you can. Run the clock and create just a little bit more operating room. The Cowboys wouldn't let him out of there. This is a big series, to say the least. Cowboys have to hold them three and out, get the punt. And they should have good field position. Down to eight minutes to go in the game. Cowboys trail 29-26. Second down and nine ball at the three-yard line of Colorado. Buffaloes break the huddle. Fisk is the fullback. Charrington is the tailback. Both are in the end zone again. Optioning is Hessler. Wants to pitch. Now finally does into the end zone. Charrington gets it outside the five-yard line up to about the eight or nine. Alexander and McWhorter's on the stop. A gain of five, so it'll be third down at about four. I'm not so sure that if that was the best situation for the Cowboys. It worked well because it looked like that fake pitch. And uh, if Hessler had it, he might still be running a little bit. He had a pretty good lane, but he gave it up at the last second and, and at least gave the Cowboy defenders an opportunity, an angle to drop Cherrington. Third down and three from the nine-yard line. Seven minutes, eight seconds left. Cowboys down by three at 29-26. Third down and three from the nine-yard line. Hessler with Cherrington in the backfield. Two wideouts to the near side. Cheverini, one of them, goes the other way. Hester to throw, goes to Cheverini. Incomplete. Kevin Williams on the coverage. No chance of that being completed, and it's fourth down. That's an interesting call right there. Really, the pass came much too soon. Cheverini wasn't even yeah. in a situation where he broke for the football. It was way tall, out of the hands of anybody, but the fact remains, it wasn't really a high percentage pass at all, and they'll have to turn the ball over here. Well, Peach will punt the football, stands deep in his own end zone. McQuarters comes up to the 45-yard line. The Cowboys trail 29-26, less than seven minutes to go. Boy, a bad snap here would help. But it's a good one. Peach is going to get off the punt, and it's going to hit at the 35-yard line, take a Buffalo bounce into Cowboy territory. He's going to get a great roll off of this. It'll be down at the 42-yard line of Oklahoma State. That's where the Cowboys will take over first and 10. Well, it was a pretty good decision there by RW. Again, yeah. it's dangerous to try to come up there and get that line drive. And you have a real good angle on it to begin with, and you risk mishandling it. As it is, the Cowboys have good field position here with 6.38 to go. 49 yards on the punt. No return first and 10 Cowboys from their own 42. Tony Lindsay comes out to direct the offense. Fobbs is in there. Alonzo Mays, the tight end. Grissom wide to the far side. Sean Love to the near side. First and 10 from the 42-yard line. They've shut the edge down pretty well on Tony in the second half. Five minute the line of scrimmage for the Buffaloes. Lindsey on the delay to five. No, it's play action. Tony rolls right. He's under cover, under pressure. Other throws the ball incomplete. And Staggs, the intended receiver, the referee was knocked down, too, at the 35-yard line. And once again, they're getting good uh, penetration by that defensive end that they've got split wide. They have really put their men on the edge, the defensive guys on the line, wider this second half, just to make sure that Tony can't turn the corner. 
and when he goes to the short side on the option now, he's got a white shirt in his face and there's a lot less operating room, but what that also does is opens the middle. That's why you saw Mays pull in that long pass on the touchdown drive. Second and 10 from the 42, Fobbs the lone back now, one wide on each side. Again, a five-man front. Long cap by Lindsay, options to the far side. Now keeps it, slips as he makes his cut. And got back to the line of scrimmage, maybe got a yard, but it'll be third down and nine, and that was a tough one, too. Cowboys have had really good field position, Tom, in the last two series and not been able to do anything. Sure, they started at the 48 from Colorado and uh, had to punt the ball away now on their own 42, and actually on their own 35 to get the touchdown drive underway. It was a carryover into the fourth quarter. Third down and about 10. Cowboys 7 of 16 and third downs. This is a big one with six minutes to go. They're down by three. Fobbs alone back. Love and Grissom wide to the near side. Lindsey right up under center. Now Fobbs in motion to the far side. And now there's a whistle. And one of the Cowboys moves. Mays. Actually, yeah, he's had about two or three. The, the first two... The first two snaps, he was kind of cheating a little bit and never got called, but the third time he moved, and all of a sudden a third and nine becomes a third and 14. Boy, 11 penalties now, totally 105 yards. The quarters has checked into the lineup, so now it's third down and 15. So third down and 15 for the Cowboys. Once again, the personality of the drive changes here. And they're going to have to hurry. 16 seconds on the clock, and they're still trying to get the play call here. So Lindsey goes to work. Fobbs the low back, three wides to the near side, one to the far side. Lindsey to throw the ball over the middle. It was almost intercepted. McQuarters, the intended receiver. Now we have flags down. Yeah, and it was Nivis who got in the way of R.W. McQuarters and peated his route to the ball. And while that won't mean much in terms of moving the ball forward, it'll be pass interference and a timely call for the Cowboys. That's what it is, pass interference. Well, that's a break. <laughs> man, oh, man. It moves that uh, down stick a little bit, doesn't it? The foul. Pass interference on the defense. Spot foul. First down. That is a major, major break right there with 5.44 to go. Cowboys face the third and 15. And I'm not so sure even if the pass was completed that it was going to go very far because no. the quarters was only about three yards the field and he would have been surrounded. So... Major break there for Oklahoma State. Cowboys actually gained five then on the penalties, so it's first and ten from the 43-yard line. Brown and Simmons in the backfield now. Grissom wide to one side and Love to the other. Now Mays in motion. The pitch is to Simmons. Goes on the right side. 45. Nathan just missed an ankle tackle for going a long time. Gets out to the 49-yard line. Southward on the stop. That's a gain of six, and it'll be second down and four. Boy, he was an ankle tackle away from taking that to distance right there. Good, good movement to the right. Cowboys had him pancaked and pinned inside, and Nathan had a nice seam, accelerated hard through it, and just got pulled down by the ankle. Cowboys down by three, 5.16 to go. Brown and Simmons in the backfield. They're split back, second and four from the Cowboy 49-yard line. Mays in motion to the far side. Lindsey, play action, he wants to throw, does so. Goes for Sean Love, incomplete at the 20-yard line. Pretty good coverage down there. Ben Kelly, and it's incomplete, third down and four. Deep slant, deep post, Sean Love running, and he had inside position. Tony looked like he just tried to float that ball up there and let Sean run under it. It looked like it bit a little short. It was really almost intercepted as the defender was a little taller than Sean. Could have got up there and pulled it away. So Cowboys live to, to take another snap, but they need this first down in the worst way. Yeah, they're 8 of 17 now in third downs. Here, third and four from their own 49-yard line. Cowboys trail by three, less than five minutes to go. Brown, the lone back. Simmons is a wide out to the far side. Grissom and Love to the near side. Lindsey to throw. Now he wants to run. Does so. Gets to the 45. Breaks a tackle. He's to the 40. Comes to the near side. 35, 30. He's to the 20. And he's knocked out of bounds. And a flag. And a flag. A late hit, I'll bet you. Marcus Washington knocks him out. He got to the 20-yard line, and that's where he got knocked away. That little kid's got a lot of savvy, a lot of moxie right there. He had just to break the line of scrimmage. That's all he wanted to do. He has that option to take it and run. And he was going to go to his right there. He leaned a lot to the left, and once he broke the line of scrimmage, he was able to hustle it down the near sideline. It'll be moved even closer now. A 31-yard gain for Lindsey, oh. and they'll tag on the 
penalty. So the ball will be down to the 10 yard line. Here's a call. There he is. Dead ball. Personal foul on the defense. Automatic first down. He didn't get a real crushing block from Kevin Brown, but he got a little bit of action on Brown itself just to get in the way. And he got down that near sideline in a hurry. And once again, Bill, how many times have we talked about Oklahoma State being in the touchdown red zone, trying to put it in the end zone? So it's first down from the 10-yard line. Cowboys go to work. Love is wide out on the other side to the far side. Brown, the low back, triple tight ends in there. First down, Cowboys from the 10-yard line. Lindsey, play action, throws, and it's tipped and incomplete. Boy, the ball was batted into the air by one of the Buffalo defenders, and Cowboys are fortunate that fell down incomplete. I think it was Southward who may have got his hands on Anyway, second down and goal. Man, that's one of the few times tonight that they caught Colorado in a defense where Kevin Brown would have been home free. He didn't take the ball. It was, it was fake to Brown, but that was the situation where if Brown was given the football, he might have scored because they were all throwing left trying to get into the pass pattern. Cowboys cannot get a first down here. They've got to get the ball into the end zone. It's second down from the just inside the 10-yard line. Nathan Simmons to low back. Sean Love wide to the far side. Triple tight ends in there. And second down from the 10-yard line. Lindsey, the quarterback. Options to the far side. Pitches the ball to Simmons. Simmons has to go to get it. Gets inside the 10. It was almost like a pass. It's he gets down to the eight or seven yard line. Ben Kelly on the stop, but I'll tell you, the Cowboys Oof. are fortunate just to keep the football. Yeah, Simmons did a nice job of getting the ball and somehow keeping it in his hands. It looked like he was going to drop to the turf off the pitch, and somehow Nathan showed good hands to get it, pull it back in, and still hold on to it because he took a pretty big hit. Marcus Washington is an injured Buffalo on the far side. Cowboys trail 29-26 with 4.25 left in the ball game. It is third down and goal from the seven-yard line. Well, this is eight snaps now, Bill. Eight snaps in the ball game. The Cowboys have had it something in goal. And I mean from the two or three, now inside the ten. And Oklahoma State has been so good this year of putting sevens on the board. And uh, hopefully that won't come back to haunt them here in the next 4.25. 29-26 the score with just one offensive touchdown tonight. Yeah, it's pretty timely if you can get one here. I'll tell you what. This has been a battle, but we thought it would be. By far the best team the Cowboys have seen this year. Well, this is a good football team. They're strong in a lot of areas. Third down and goal from the seven-yard line. Cowboys break the huddle. Simmons the lone back. Grissom, Love, and Hill are wideouts to the near side. Now Simmons goes in motion to the far side, and third down. Lindsey, the quarterback, options to the far side. Keeps, goes one way, comes back, and he is dropped at the seven-yard line. He almost fumbled the ball. Did he, he fumble did. it? I think he did. Colorado says they have it, but if nothing else, oh, hopefully that brother. won't be the case. If it is, I think he was down. They say he's got it. They haven't said yet. Yes, they are. They're saying a Colorado fumble recovery. That's a bad play right there for the Cowboys because they were in chip shot range of Sidness tying the ball game up. And they gave it up there, and a turnover comes back to haunt them right now. Boy, a huge play. Colorado recovers the ball, and it's at the seven-yard line. I don't know who got it. A host of Buffaloes were there. So Colorado takes over first and 10 with 3.52 to go. And the, and the ball inside the 10-yard line. Cowboys have just two timeouts remaining. Well, that's a huge play right there. Yeah, somebody just stripped the ball from them. They tried that short field option to the left again, and Colorado was there to turn Tony back into the traffic. First and 10 from the 7-yard line. Kessler goes to work with Trout in the low back. He stands at the 1. One wide out on each side. Kessler. Ah, the whistles blow. The flags fly. Looks like somebody moved. Maybe a cowboy. Might have been Alton Weaver jumping the gun a bit. Well, you got him backed up now. You don't want that to happen, but it looks like it might be. The only hope the cowboys have is that somebody up there in the white shirts moved and drew them offside. Now the discussion will take place. Boy, the crowd just goes deadly quiet as yeah. we wait the call here. It's somewhat drained, I'm sure. Ball start. Five of the offense. Beautiful. We'll take it. Yeah, that moves them back even further. You know, 
if it stays this way, I'm sure that the talk will be from Bob Simmons. The Cowboys had a number of opportunities to put the ball in the end zone tonight. They were not able to get it done down there deep in the five within the five inside the 10 yard line. Not able to come up with sevens. So the Buffaloes break the huddle. Ball is on the four yard line. And Hessler goes to work. Hands the ball off, traveling over the left side. Gets across the five out to about the seven yard line. A gain of three. Jack Golden and Ricky Thompson on the stop. Needless to say, the Cowboys can ill afford to give up a first down. 3.30 and counting. Again, two timeouts for the offense. Cowboys want to have the ball one more time with a chance to either tie it or take the lead. It's all right, kind of in the hands of that D right now to turn the ball back over. Buffaloes have to get across the 17-yard line for a first down. They're on the seven now, so it's second down and 10. With 3.07 left in the ball game, Cowboys down by three. Trap on the low back, one wide on each side. Hessler, the quarterback, 29-26, Colorado. Play action, rolling right is Hessler. He can run with the ball. He gets up to the 10-yard line, goes out of bounds. Actually, got to the 10. They're going to say a gain of three, so it'll be third down and seven. Well, I think it's come down to this play right here, Mr. Teagan. Yeah, I think you're right. Cowboys have to hold here. They got him in a third and long. Got to make sure that they don't give up the first down. See if New Heisel wants to gamble a little bit or just say, hey, we'll get all we can, kick it out of there, and make you go the distance in the last two minutes. Well, this is the ball game for the Cowboy defense. Third down and about seven and a half. Ball is at the 10 yard line. Cowboys trail by three, less than three minutes to go. Tesler breaks the huddle. Trout on the running back, two wides to the far side, one to the near side. Cowboys with a five-man rush. Hessler, Bach back to pass. Throws over the middle. Intercepted by the Cowboys! It's Mo Simpson at the 23-yard line. Oh, the Cowboys come up with another big play. And the Cowboys outfox Hessler that time. We've given him all kinds of credit, but Simpson was up there close to the line of scrimmage. As soon as the ball was snapped, he fell back into deep coverage. Hessler never saw him. He came from right to left, made the pick, and the Cowboys again. Not Knocking on the door. Well, this time, let's knock the door down. Cowboys down by three, 245 left. Simpson with the interception. First and 10, Cowboys from the Buffalo 23-yard line. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tony Lindsay leads the Cowboys onto the field. Fobbs is in there as a running back. Wide to the far side is Sean Love. Mays and Sean Barry are in there. So is Garrett Stegg, so triple tight ends. First and 10 from the 23-yard line. Lindsey sends Stakes in motion to the far side. Hands the ball off to Fox. There's an opening. He gets to the 20, then it closes in a hurry. Maybe he got down to the 19. Well, he tried that cutback right there, and they were right on the line of scrimmage to meet him. They've done a nice job of taking the cutback Boy. away from Bob's tonight. That closed in a hurry. Four yards. I thought he had some room to run. Mike Phillips, the middle linebacker on the stop, 225 to go. Second down and six ball at the 19-yard line. Still plenty of time to get this thing done now. They have to hurry the play. Love wide to the far side. Kevin Brown the lone back. Triple tight ends. <laughs> Lindsey, long count there. The middle hands the ball off to Brown. No, he rolls right. It's a play action. He's got the ball. Throws towards the end zone. It's caught. It's caught. Alonzo Mays touchdown. What a pass by Tony Lindsay. He waited and waited. They had the option cut off. And somehow Mays was able to come left to right. Tony put the ball up. Another jump ball. And big Alonzo went on the glass to pull it down. What a great play action, though. He rolled right. It looked like Brown had the ball. At least it looked like it to me. Gee, my knee. 19-yard touchdown. The Cowboys have the lead. <laughs> Go to the big play man, Alonzo. Now, here we are again, Bill, in a situation that we're going to have another, where we have a penalty for celebration, and that's big because that makes it a long, long extra point for Sidness. Mm -mm -mm. Excessive celebrating, is that I what it was? that's what they said, yeah. 
And if that's the case, oh, now this man. is a big extra point because... Gives it, you a four-point lead. Exactly. It takes Colorado out of uh, a situation where a field goal could tie and send you into overtime. So Timmy Sidness, who hit four field goals in the first half, is going to have to really make this a long, long extra point. 12th penalty, 120 yards for the Cowboys. So this is basically a 35-yard extra point. Mm -hmm. Come on, Tim. Cowboys lead it 32-29. Less than two minutes to go in the game. Good snap. The kick is up. Yes, he got it. Well, that away, man. Tim. Let's take a break with 1.56 to go. The Cowboys are up by four. This is Cowboy football from Learfield Sports. Hey, Dick, I've just learned a new magic trick. Oh, no, uh, does it... Wetman will kick it off. Cowboys have the lead, 33-29. Boy, they put some time on the clock. It was under under two minutes, wasn't it? Yeah. Now it's two minutes, it says. So, so four seconds got lost somewhere. Colorado, again, probably wanting every one of those four. And they've been in... This is the fourth time, Bill, they have been in a real barn burner. The only time they have not been in a ball game, Michigan blew them out 27-3. So... They're used to these uh, close ball games, but the Cowboys now are trying to put them away. Everybody up on their feet here. Schwetman will kick it off. I don't think anybody's left the stadium. Hey, you paid for a ticket tonight. Now you got your money's worth. No, well, we're still in the timeout, so the official had to go get the football. Cowboys are ready to go. 33-29 Oklahoma State, two minutes to go. If the defense can hang on here, but it all begins right here. It begins with Schwetman's kick. That's right. You've got to be able to kick that ball in where there's no no out, uh, no run back here to set them up in good field position. That's not what you want. And, of course, Schwetman's got that crosswind going, so he has an opportunity to get a foot in it and drive that thing through the end zone. All right, the Cowboys say they're ready to go now. As we wait for the officials to get in position. Schwetman will kick off. Now it's back to 156. <laughs> Jeez. Keep going, clock. Yeah. 33-29 Cowboys. Everybody's on their feet. Schwetman will kick it off. 33-29 Cowboys. And here we go. Schmetman with a kick. It's a line drive kick. Sails into the end zone. Oh. They're going to run it out. He's to the 5, to the 10. Goes wide to the 15, to the 20. Still going. Finally hauled down as he got near the 30-yard line. And it was Kelly who brought it out. Well, I tell you, he took a chance. But with his speed now, he was at the 10 before the Cowboys actually could get down there. So that didn't go exactly the way the Cowboys special teamers wanted. But it's still in the hands of the offense. Colorado needs a touchdown with 1.50 to go. Yep. They've got three timeouts left. Field goal would do no good with the Cowboys up by four. They're going to actually spot the ball at the 28-yard line, and that's where the Buffaloes go to work first and 10 with 1.50, 1.50 left. Hessler's the quarterback. Cherrington is the lone back. Savoy, Stingers, and Shiravini. Now, Hessler, under control, under pressure. Cowboys try to get him as he rolls left, throws the ball. It's intercepted again. Oh, they're going to say out of bounds. Mo Simpson had the ball at the 40. And that was great a, pressure. A bad play by Hessler. Hessler spun out of pressure. He actually looked like he was going to get sacked. I believe Alton Weaver was in the area, but he was able to spin away, head to his left. Now, going to his left, that means he had threw it back across his body. And, I mean, he threw that up for grabs. Simpson from this angle looked like he was definitely out of bounds, but he put that in the area where the orange shirts could pick it off. Ashley, Mallory, Williams, and Weaver, that front line now, second and 10 from the 28. Hessler goes to work. Troutman back in at tailback. Two wides to the near side, one to the far side. Back to throw is Hessler. Got a lot of time. Happy feet now. Throws the ball out. And it's caught at the 35-yard line. Savoy, and he's tackled as he gets across the 35 out to the 37. McQuarters puts the stop on him. A gain of nine there. And it'll be third down. Clock rolls with 122 to go. It looked almost as if R.W. was going to try to step in there and make the interception, but Savoy had a pretty good angle on him. At 114, the clock continues to run. Third down and one. Troutman, the lone back, down to a minute seven left. Kessler back to throw. It's complete at the 40-yard line to Robert Toller. The tackle is made by Trent Alexander. As he gets across the 40 out to the 43 for a first down. 
101 to go. Cowboys lead 33-29. Cowboys trying to keep him in the middle of the field now. Not, not, not let him run by him for the long one. Kessler back to throw. Has some time. Now starts to run. Gets to the 40. Throws the ball on the run. It's incomplete. Intended for McCarty as he got out to the 45 of Oklahoma State. McQuarters on the coverage. So that stops the clock with 48 to go. He came off of close to crossing the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he time. did. I thought he had. But uh, the official had a good look at it. Threw the ball up for grabs. He probably had all the yardage he was going to get anyway, Bill, and gave it up by throwing it because it looked like he had himself about a six, maybe a four or five yard gain if he kept going. Kessler, 20 of 38 for 298 38. yards. 38 attempts. Mallory, Ashley, Aiken, and Warner in there now. Second and 10 from the Buffalo 42. Cowboys lead by four with 48 seconds to go. Trout with a low back. One sack is what they need. Kessler back to throw. Gets the pass off. It's caught at the 42 to the 45. Driven out of bounds at the 49-yard line is Troutman, and McQuarters knocks him out. What it's a, a gain of six. What a nice job by R.W. McCorders. That may not look very big in the report tomorrow, but he was being blocked by one man. Actually, he was the only orange shirt out there on the screen as Troutman tried to cut it back in against the green. He got rid of the man, got in between the other defenders and was able to make the play. If he doesn't make the play, Troutman has nobody else to beat. It's third down and four from the Buffalo 48-yard line. Cowboys lead 33-29, 42 seconds left. Two wides to the far side, one to the near side. Troutman alone back. Cowboys, Kessler on the option, pitches the ball to Trout, and he stopped at the 48-yard line. McQuarters comes up to get him. And they railed the dice. They brought Simpson from the left side and really gummed up that option. Cowboys had three orange shirts in the backfield while a pitch was being made. There's a timeout for Colorado. 32 seconds left. Cowboys lead at 33-29. We'll take a break. You're listening to Cowboy Football. Meet a copiers from Stillwater Typewriter Company. The full line of Meet a copier products from compact desk copiers to full featured business copiers to high speed copier duplicators. Reliable, award winning Meet a copiers that produce anywhere from 13 to 92 copies a minute, up to 300,000 images a month. Stillwater Typewriter Company, knowledgeable, innovative sales and service people who help you make the right decision. A decision that helps your people. Area and Main Auto Supply in Stillwater today. It's down to this. It's fourth and four from the 48 yard line. Buffaloes have the ball. Cowboys lead 33-29 with 32 seconds left. Troutman the lone back. Kessler back to throw. Let's it go. And it's complete in Cowboy territory down to the 46-yard line. Stiggers on the catch. A first down, 27 seconds to go. Any time you give Hessler any more times to throw the football, it's dangerous. Pretty good job by Hessler just to make a quick slant to Stiggers. He had to go down to get it. 27 seconds left. Again, a field goal won't do any good. They've got to get into the end zone. 24 seconds to go. Hessler up under center. Back to throw. Has time. Throws the ball. It's incomplete. Almost intercepted by on the far sideline. I'm not sure who that is for the Cowboys. It's Kevin Williams. Almost came up. He short hopped it. Savoy, the intended receiver. So 17 seconds left. Second and 10 at the Cowboy 46. Now, when does New Heisel start deciding to throw into the end zone? I mean, right now, the Cowboys have two deep coverage. They're going to try to keep the ball from being thrown over their heads, and they're funneling everything to the middle, knowing full well they're going to run time off the clock. Again, two timeouts still for Colorado. Second down and 10, ball at the Cowboy 46. Trap on the low back. Yeah, three wide outs to the far side. Hessler's the quarterback. Back to throw. He's got time. Now lets it go deep down the far sideline, and it's incomplete. Boy, the quarter's going at it with Chevarini on the far side. Make that Simpson down there. Talk about Mo Simpson being in the middle of a lot of the action in the last 30 seconds. That was one-on-one -on -one right there, and Mo Simpson had the inside position, wouldn't give it up. Mercy, it's come down now to nine seconds. Third down from the 46-yard line. Nine seconds left. Cowboys lead 33-29. I need your shirt. Uh, I don't think you want it. <laughs> now, trips left again. I'll tell you, that offensive line is holding them out. Hessler's got a lot of time to throw. Cowboys have to be fatigued. They're going to drop people back into the pass coverage here, here. Here we go. Third down. Hessler sends three wideouts to the far side, one to the near side. Third down and ten. Hessler back to throw, under pressure, lets it go, incomplete. There are five seconds left. And it was, Cowboys had the charge coming off the right edge, and it was Andrell Waddle who beat his man, got rid of the blocker, and got in on Hessler and forced the earned throw. 
Fourth down from the 46. This has got to be the last play. Five seconds left. Cowboys lead 33-29. Buffalo's call timeout. We'll stay here. We'll need this week off. Oh, you brother. And I. Again, the Cowboys are not in action for two weeks. Open week tomorrow, next week, next Saturday, and then the Cowboys back in action in two weeks against Missouri. And that game is slated to be a 2 o'clock ball game. That could change, yes, correct? Yes, it could change. Of course, you'll have plenty of notice between now and then. But the Cowboys, not worried about that one. They're worried about making one more play defensively. And you know that uh, Rick Neuheisel's drawing it up where the ball is going to head into the end zone for sure, trying to get that ball down there where he can get one strike and try to win it on the last play. It's come down to this. Cowboys have come back really from the grave twice here in this third quarter, in this fourth quarter, and got a couple of touchdown drives after the turnover forced by the defense. And Cowboys will drop McCorders back. He'll be the deep man. He'll be back there around the 15 to make sure nothing happens. But you'll have trips. You'll have everybody in the pass pattern. Clavel, Williams, Mallory. Cowboys are going to put two guys on the line of scrimmage. And now the Cowboys call timeout. They wanted to see what the Buffaloes were going to do. It's almost like basketball. That's exactly right. Now we'll see if New Heisel goes ahead and checks out the Cowboys, what they were going to do, and change it. There's no reason to save the timeouts. They had one going in. Cowboys had two. Now they've got one left. And everybody wanted to see exactly where everybody was going to be. But there's no question what Colorado's going to do. They're going to spread this place from sideline to sideline, get as many possible receivers downfield as they can and hope and hope that they can come up with a miracle at the end. Cowboys lead 33-29 with five seconds left. The ball is at the Cowboy 46-yard line. Let's see if we can see who's coming out. Jamal Williams is on the line. Andre Waddle is out there. Look at Neuheisel. He's just actually out there at midfield. He's going to talk to the offense. That might be the longest cord on a headset that <laughs> I've ever seen. And then everybody else is back. Cowboys just... As long as they don't score the touchdown, you win the game. 33-29, Cowboys lead by four with five seconds left. They send three wideouts to the far side, one to the near side. Kessler right up under center. Here we go. This is the ball game. Kessler back to throw. Under pressure, rolls to his right, still rolls, throws on the run, and it's incomplete. The Cowboys have won the game, 33-29 the final. What an amazing finish. The Cowboys, seemingly out of it a couple of times in the fourth quarter, were able to use defensive pressure. They wouldn't let Hessler. They made Hessler run around that time and throw it on the run. Everybody was back deep, so it would not be a long one into the end zone. Hessler couldn't get enough on it. It was Waddle, I believe, who was coming from the right side. He was in hot pursuit, and unbelievably, the Cowboys win this one, and they go to 6-0 and and 3-0 and in Big 12 play. Cowboy doubters, it's time to believe. Oklahoma State wins it. Final score, 33-29. Back with our post-game report and the AT&T wireless calls of the game. You're listening to Cowboy Football. Homecoming is a super exciting time. Re-establishing and rekindling old meaningful relationships. It's all great fun. Several fans are out there. Huge win for the Cowboys who go to 6-0 on the season. Listen to the ovation they get from the crowd. We will recap the scoring in a moment. First, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. Because Colorado's a good football team, and uh, they made some plays down the stretch. Here you see our defense really flowing to the ball. I think the, the, the real key to their success was their third down uh, success rate. And on this drive, they had some third down success rate, blocked our kids. And, uh, you know, they came in here to really uh, establish a solid game plan of running and throwing the ball. And they did some good things. They max protected. Uh, to, to give their receivers time enough to get open. Then they, they end up running the option on our defense, which is something that we got to get better at. Well, for the, I believe the first time this year, we give up seven points in the opening drive, but it's important for the offense responds, and that's what happened. Right. Well, the challenge for our offense was really going against, there's a pretty good defense. This is a play we put in this week, Paul. 
just for this play and then Greg Stage does a nice job. He needs to run a little bit faster. But, uh, <laughs> it was a tackle over formation, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it was a tackle over, but we had two tight ends on the same side. Tried to really confuse them and uh, the first time we ran that it worked and uh, Greg Stage he said he's gonna take it to the house, but he got halfway home. <laughs> he got house. halfway home. Yeah. Thirty eight yard reception by uh, Garrett Stegs from Tony Lindsay gives us a first down on the CU 32. And, he, and you know, we put our quarterback uh, draw play here, and Tony is an exceptional runner and has been making positive decisions. And you can see we got good blocking here. We go back inside. This is a tough inside run that Nathan down to the two yard line here. And, uh, this is an option play, which they play pretty well. Very physical up front. Keep, kept us out. We chose to go get some points on the board at that particular time, and that made the ball game seven to three in the in the first quarter. And uh, uh, chose to put our defense back on. This is a play where we had two guys outside, but it's, you know our defense is still playing hard, running to the ball, mixing things up, putting a lot of pressure. Watch Jamal Williams does a nice job of, of really getting back out of the screen and trying to run that down. And uh, this is a this is a throw by Hessler, which is inside. Now we go three and out, forced him to punt. Uh, they did a pretty good job covering RW this ballgame. I know that he had had several punt returns before, but they were kicking the ball away from him. Well, very impressive performance there. Defense three and outs. The offense sets up, and Jamal Fobbs goes to work for 20. Well, I tell you, one more step, and he breaks this thing for a long run. This is a nice job of running through tackles, and had that guy not slowed him down, he probably would have t taken that ball all the way, but that's a good job. Our offensive line go back to the option, and, and uh, that was a big play for us for a first down. Nice job of stretching that ball out. Fourth and one early in the ball game. Uh, wasn't uh, a tough call, but it was because it was a half an inch, half a yard, and then we kept our offense going, and here we didn't get the type of blocking up front we deserve, but uh, this is a mixed, mixed direction play for Tony Lindsay. Gets him on the perimeter. Easy first down. Well, Tony Lindsay with the bootlegs. If it's a first down, and we see Nate, or excuse me, Jamal That's going Jamal. back to work. Yeah, nice, tough inside running. Our offensive line was challenged this week. And again, if you flush Tony Lindsay, he'll make you pay. This is our scramble drill where Tony has to scramble and our receivers. This is Willie Grissom does a nice job of finding the open slot. And, and uh, getting that first down, keep keeping that drive along. Then we, I think we, we end up taking down the Buffalo then, or, or mascot. Then. <laughs> this is a run by Nathan, want to keep his feet, stay inside, but we're really fighting tough, uh, keeping that drive alive. There's another scramble by Tony. The thing that people can't do, uh, if, if they get upfield on him, he'll scramble on him. But we settle for a field goal here. We got points on the board, and that's the most important thing. Good ball control, a 15 play, 43 yard drive, 606 off the clock, and pulls the Cowboys within one at 7 6. But uh, perhaps a little break. Oh, yeah, right I tell here. you, break down the special teams. We didn't have people ripping to the ball. Uh, and this is the young man that took it all the way back against Wyoming. Uh, and as you can see, we didn't have enough people around the ball at that particular time, but RW reporters uh, made a sensational save. Uh, and then they, they take it in on the next play. Uh, but that was a good play on their part. We come back in, we got an answer. Uh, we moved the ball down the field with Chris. If he keeps that ball up higher enough, uh, uh, I think Alonzo is going to take it to the house. This is a nice run uh, by Nathan, I think about 15 yards. Our offense is responding to their particular score, and that was the most important thing. So I see saw battle after the kickoff return of motion.